Is it dangerous? Edward. Hmm? Privateering. Is it dangerous? Wouldn't pay so nice if it weren't. Well, why not sail with the King's Navy? Earn a proper wage? Sail under gentlemen? Sod the Navy's gentlemen. For every shilling I'd earn, the captain gets 600. That's no way to earn a fortune. We don't need a fortune. It's not about need, Caroline. I want food that don't make me sick. I want walls that hold back the wind. I want a decent life. How long would you be gone with these privateers? A year, I reckon. Two at the most. All right. No more than two. Promise me. <laughs> Was it good for you as well? Havana. I must get to Havana. Well, I'll just build us another ship, will I? I can pay you. Isn't that the sound you pirates like best? One hundred Eskimos.
keep talking. Will you or won't you? You don't have that gold on you now, do you? To you, Snakesby. Come on, mate. We're off to a bad start. It's a hundred leagues or more to Havana. Will you walk that distance? he running to? Follow and I'll kill you! <laughs> we could work together on this! Senor Duncan Walpole, I accept your most generous offer and await your arrival with eagerness. If you truly possess the information we desire, we have the means to reward you handsomely. Though I will not know your face by sight, I believe I can recognize the costume made infamous by your secret order. Therefore, come to Havana in haste, and trust that you shall be welcomed as a brother. Su más humilde servidor, el gobernador Laureano Torres y Ayala.
Mr. Walpole, let's collect your reward. That school will do you just fine. to water and resupply. My sugar, take anything you like. Sugar, take anything you like. By God's grace, sir, you saved me. A profusion of thanks. Is that yours? It is my vessel, yes. But uh, here lies its poor captain, and I have no art for sailing. I can pilot her myself, not mine. You don't mean to abscond with my ship, do you? I'm Duncan. What's your name, friend? Steed, Steed Bonnet. Well, Mr. Bonnet, let this stay twixt us. But I'm on a secret errand for His Majesty the King, God save him, and I must get to Havana with speed. Ah, oh, that is a relief, sir. Havana is also my destination. Our ways lie together. Natural allies, then. Ah, oh, you put me at ease, sir. To think I took you for a pirate when you first appeared. Did you? Yes. You have an uh, uncommon way of handling yourself. Quick and easy, if I may say. Gave me quite a fright. But, all things considered, I think it's turned out to be a rather fortuitous day, hasn't it? Lacking a rowboat, I'm afraid we'll have to swim to my ship. Hardly the worst thing to happen. Well, that'll do. And how?
Close down! Catch some wind! Welcome aboard, Duncan. She's a modest schooner, but well suited to my purpose, trafficking cargo from my plantation and such. She'll do fine. There's a strong wind now. Let's strike to fall, shall we? Ah, there's a tug of the wind at my hair. Ah, I find a bracing comfort in the feel and smell of the ocean. <laughs> the raw stink of... of possibility. <laughs> That's a top way of seeing it, mate. We've really opened it up now, haven't we? <laughs> Those sailors were quite animated by the idea of pirates roaming these waters. Is it a real danger, do you suppose? A possibility. But most pirates stalk the windward passage between Cuba and Hispaniola. Oh, I see. Yes, that is a bustling strait. But I shouldn't worry about being waylaid by pirates, truth be told. My ship is small, and I have nothing of immense value. Sugarcane and its yields, molasses, rum, that sort of thing. <laughs> There's not a pirate living who turn his back on a keg of rum. Well, yes. Yes, I suppose that's true. All sail! She'll take it! You're a natural sailor, Duncan. I did a decent trick at the helm some time ago. Two years before the mast as a privateer. Dash my buttons. Your life seems a grand one, if I may say. So full of adventure. How marvelous. I've seen my share of strangeness, I. Very promising. Alright, easy now. There you go. Welcome back. Well, your numbers look good. Now let's make sure we can break your brain, alright? I need you to move your head and look at these lights, just here. Look up. That's it. Down. So far, so good. Let's get you up. So, welcome to the Sample 17 project. Before you get started, you're gonna need this. There you go. Testing, testing, one, two, three. Hello, bonjour. C'est bon? It works? All right, let's take a walk. Your file says you've done some memory research before, but not to this extent, which is surprising. You're very good. The data streams are very stable. I know, I know. I just... Impressive, right? This building is barely six months old, but Abstergo Entertainment has been a studio for a few years, since 2010. Asian. Sounds confusing. Maybe you saw Liberation? That was our first title powered by Animus Tech. That was just the tip of the iceberg. Soon, we'll be unveiling commercial Animus servers for the whole world to enjoy. They'll offer passive experiences, of course. Edited versions of real history. But only the exciting parts. And we think we found the perfect subject for our first full-length virtual feature. Caribbean Pirates. So that's your gig. It'll just take a minute, okay? Well, thank you, Nancy. Bonne journée. 
C'est bon, tout est prêt. Magnifique. Merci. This is for you. The primary tool of our trade. Your communicator. Power it up and give it a look. It's pretty slick. You might have noticed that security seems a little light around here. That's because your communicator is your key to getting around. See that flashing wireless signal? It means you're hooked up to the elevator. I'll let you do the honors. We're headed up to the Sample 17 studio, second floor. You ready? Let's go. Ah, there's the boss, Olivier Garneau, our CCO. I'll introduce you. Bonjour. Salut, Mélanie. Ça va bien? Well, thanks. Have you met our new hire? Just started today. I haven't. Bonjour. What project? Sample 17, the Kenway line. Hey, them. Connor. Edward, the pirate. Ah, ar, yar, matey. <laughs> Very exciting. Welcome aboard. Uh, Mélanie, can we talk in your office for a minute? Just let me get this one settled and I'll see you in five minutes. C'est bon. Nice to meet you. So, this is the Sample 17 floor. We're diving into the memories of one very generous donor, Desmond Miles. We're pulling all the best stuff from his DNA. And hopefully one day, we can forge some fantastic experiences from what we find in there. This pair of legs is John, one of the wizards in IT. He's just fixing something for you. Not fixing, calibrating. Calibrating, right. So here we are, your very own Animus workstation. This is all yours, so sit back, relax, and find us some good footage. If you need any hints or tips, the Animus is loaded with tutorial programs, so you'll have no problems. And I'll check in on you later. Happy pirating. Welcome to Animus Omega, Abstergo Entertainment's proprietary ancestral memory research tool. If you have any questions, comments, or concerns about how to operate your Animus console, please contact your project supervisor, Melanie LeMay. You have been registered as part of the Sample 17 project. Your primary research target is Edward James Kenway, born March 10, 1693, Swansea, Wales. Calibrations complete. All signs normal. All systems optimal. Extra neurotransmitters activated. Lively Havana. I've been here once before. It was a truly awful pleasure. See someone you know? No, no, no. Just putting on a friendly face. I shouldn't want to be mistaken for a pirate again. Right. Flash rogue like yourself must be cautious. Mad to think Spain and England were at war two years ago, isn't it? Here I am, bartering with Spaniards like they were my cousins. Nothing wrong, Duncan? No, it's nothing. Sand in my hampers. So where's the best squad in town? I'm dying for a quick kip. 
Or a siesta, should I say. Um, I'm just headed to uh, a public house now to meet some merchants. I could, I could show you the way. Well, lead on. I hope you'll tarry a bit while I conduct my meeting. It'd be a great relief to have a man of your stature nearby in case of a misunderstanding. I can hang about. I might have a drink. Spend it. <laughs> drink. <laughs> well, they don't take kindly to pirates here, do they? Wonder how many stolen reals bought these men this perch. Hola, ladies. You don't know these women, do you? No. They charge money for that kind of privilege. A few dozen reals for every hour of knowing. Keen to meet them? No. Goodness, no. I'm a, I'm a married man. Married man of their four-day mate. Aha! Here's a purveyor of personal defenses. <laughs> I should acquire a blade for myself, Duncan, just as you have. This rusty razor's nothing to admire. Even so, I appear a mere kitten walking so close upon you. Perhaps a small dagger would suit me. Let's see what he's selling. Maybe I'll buy a sword too. We'll both jump rank. Oh, we'll be quite the pair, you and I. Twin devils! <laughs> Lend us a few reals then. I did save your skin. Ah, uh, uh, of course. Cheers. That's a perfect fit for me. How do you fare? I had only enough for a small knife, sadly. Still, it'll do in a pinch. Oh, puffer duff. I have led us astray, Duncan. Oh, no matter. I'll get us a better view. What are we looking for? Uh, a tavern with a sort of courtyard interior. My goodness, you're an agile chap. Every finger's a fish hook. That's how you tell a true sailor. <laughs> yes, a fine way to put it. I think I see the place. Ah! We're not far. Not the resistance, Gordon Flon. Hang tight. Oh, he's from Go stop what do I do? Oh, I can't breathe. I think my heart. Stop, stopped. or I'll break your knees when I catch you. I'm close at heel, shit bird. Here I come! Don't make me chase you into the harbor! The wrong man, mate. A fellow with dangerous friends. Of course I am. That filch was no fuss. Oh, yes. <laughs> ah! We've arrived. Ah! 
Take your time, I'll be just here. Vat meet no Welshman, deep in Dago country. I'm English myself. Biding my time till the next war calls me to service. Lucky King George, having a piss pot like you flying his flag. Oi! Skulk! I've seen your face before. Use mates with them pirates down in Nassau. Shut your fucking gob or I'll fill it with shot, you hear me? <laughs> Edward, is it? You bastard! Hey, I warned him. You want a dust up? I'll give you one. Come on, lads. I've seen bigger arms on a bird. Sorry about the swift exit. Bit of a misunderstanding. One heaped upon another. <sighs> oh, Jesus. I'm sorry, mate. This is my doing. I'm only trying to keep these Spanish eyes off me. Oh, it's no bother. Regrettably, the soldiers confiscated my sugar. But when you were dispatches. Damn! And where have they gone? Having the foggiest idea, I'm afraid. I suspect those chaps might, but my Spanish is wee mal dad, so I... I'd rather not ask. Shit! All right, come on, let's follow them and recover my maps. And my sugar? What, in my drawers? We'll see what happens. Sapient 
Cani scriptes volut angulare in me, et vertiginem cadit circa fai. Similiter de iea... Buenos dias, senores. You're late. Yes, sir. Si, we are very sorry. Our captain delayed us. This will be Captain Mendoza. Yes, sir. He is very excited to meet you. Only he must be present for a hanging. Hanging? Ah, I love a good hanging. Yes, sir. Very nice. If we hear the bell, we may go. If you like. I'd love to, especially if Captain Mendoza's pulling the trap. The man owes me money for the slaves I sold him. Of course, sir. Captain Mendoza is happy to pay you. We have goods to sell, sugars and such. Excellent. How long will this hanging take, man? I don't mean to hang about all day for the captain. We can say anything, sir. Captain Mendoza needs only to hang the man, then he will deliver your payment. I don't want Liali's mind. I want goods, things I can sell, tobacco, rum, sugar. See, si, see, si. we have much fine sugar. Great, we took off a fat Englishman last night. Englishman? Si. Sugar from Barbados. Very fine. We hold it in the Castillo after the man started the fight last night. He ran, left his sugar behind. Very fine. Well, that's a start. Shall I accompany him to the Castillo? No, sir. Captain Mendoza will have it sent to you, I believe. You will see. Good lord. Is that big brute your Captain Mendoza? No, sir. He is El Tiburón. El Tiburón, Governor Torres' man. Han profanado la casa de Dios y huido con el cepillo de la colecta. Para reunir. 
reuniones, botaduras de barcos, bodas y funerales. Keep them busy. ¿Estás aquí, ratita? ¡Objetivo a la vista!
sorry about the sugar. I've only one pair of hands. Oh, it's no great loss. Uh, I've got uh, plenty of cargo here to make a profit on my trip. Will you stay here long? For a few weeks, yes. Then back to Barbados, to the tedium of domesticity. Don't settle for tedium. Sail for Nassau. Live life as you see fit. <laughs> Haven't I heard that Nassau is crawling with pirates? Seems a very tawdry place. Not tawdry, liberated. Oh, God. That would be an adventure. But no. No, I'm a husband and a father. I have responsibilities. Life can't be all pleasure and distraction, Duncan. Hey, our bonnet. The name's Edward, in truth. Duncan's only a handle. Ah. Uh, secret name for your secret meeting with the governor. The governor, right. I think I've kept him waiting long enough. Kenway, just in time. I'll see you back aboard. <sighs> Buenas dias. Mr. Duncan Walpole of England to see the governor. I believe he is expecting me. Si, sí, señor Walpole. Entre, por favor. ¿Ese es el hombre? El... ¿Cómo lo llamabas? ¿Asesino? Sí, Duncan Walpole. Debería haber llegado hace muchos días. No me gusta que los extranjeros se paseen por nuestra ciudad. No me fío de ellos. Cállate. El gobernador tiene invitados. Todos franceses e ingleses. Parece un hombre rudo. Le suponía un aspecto más... respetable. Lleva meses en alta mar. Se indulgente con él. Good morning, sir. Would I be correct in thinking you are dumb? I am indeed. I thought as much. Woods Rogers. A pleasure. The same. I must say, my wife has a terrible eye for description. I'm sorry? My wife. You met her some years ago at the Percy's Masquerade Ball. Ah. Quite. She called you devilishly handsome. Obviously, a lie to stoke my jealousy. <laughs> <laughs> Julianne, our guest of honor has arrived, Mr. Duncan Walpole. Ah. <laughs> Julianne Ducasse. <laughs> I hope your conversion to our order is an honest one. I have no love for assassins, but even less for liars. I have not come to disappoint. <laughs> Up for a bit of sport, Duncan? 
The old man isn't ready just yet. You've got my two best pairs of matched pistols, Duncan, so handle them with care. If I had eight, I'd treat each as my own son. Pull off a few shots if you like, get a feel for it. <laughs> I once fought beside a man who carried nine on his person. It was a boom in battle, but hindered the ability to swim. <laughs> Quite. I do kick, yes? I long for the day where one firearm carries four bullets, not the opposite. Duncan, where are your wrist blades? I've never seen an assassin so ill-equipped. Ah, damaged sadly beyond all repair. Uh -huh. Have your choice. Where did you find all these? <laughs> I did not find them. I took them. These are souvenirs. Two blades, as is the custom, we eh? Custom, aye. Duncan, will you indulge us with a demonstration of your techniques? Well, uh... We must. We put together a training course in anticipation of your arrival. It would be a shame to leave here without seeing you in action. Yes, of course. Well, I mean, if there is time, I would gladly, uh, show you what I know. Here. You see? Situations well suited to your skills. Have a go. A blade in a crowd is always the simplest. Nothing grandiose, just quick and clean. Show us another technique. It's quite ingenious to use bales of hay for cover, don't you think? God, that's the spirit! Secrecy. The advantage of surprise cannot be overstated, isn't that so? Especially around a blind corner. God blind me, that's a clever trick. Your aerial kills have a poetic beauty, despite their conspicuous quality. Would you show us? Magnifique. Is it also possible to deliver a killing blow at high speed? Mon Dieu, such a powerful strike. Fascinating. The assassins have trained you well, Duncan. You chose a perfect time to leave them behind. At great risk, I imagine. Betraying the assassins is never good for one's health. Well, neither is drinking liquor, but I am drawn to its dangers all the same. And what is your business here, sir? Are you an associate of the governor's, or a pending acquaintance like myself? Guns, blades, cannons, grenados... <laughs> Anything that may kill a man, I am happy to provide. A smuggler of sorts. And how is your wife these days, Captain Rogers? Is she, uh, here? In Havana? I trust she's well, but I wouldn't know. I've been in Madagascar some 14 months hunting pirates. It took some work to dislodge the criminals there, but we managed it. In future, I hope to use these same tactics throughout the West Indies. And how did you deal with that kind? Very simply. Most pirates are as ignorant as apes. I merely offered them a choice. Take a pardon and return to England, penniless, but free men. Or be hanged by the neck until dead. Oh. 
I imagine NASA would be your next target. Very astute, Duncan, indeed. Best of luck with that. Grandmaster Torres! Mr. Duncan Walpole has arrived. See. Si. You were expected one week ago. Apologies, Governor. My ship was set upon by pirates. We were scuttled. I arrived only yesterday. Unfortunate. Forgive my caution, but were you able to salvage from these pirates the items you promised me? Uh, yes, sir. I was. Incredible. The assassins have more resources than I had imagined, but... Not nearly enough to deter us. It is a pleasure to meet you at last, Duncan. You are most welcome. Come, gentlemen. We have much to discuss. Convened at last, and in such continental company. England, France, Spain, citizens of sad and corrupted empires. But you are Templars now, the secret and true legislatures of the world. Please, hold out your hands. Mark and remember our purpose. To guide all wayward souls till they've reached a quiet road. To guide all wayward desire till impassioned hearts are cool. To guide all wayward minds to safe and sober thought. By the Father of Understanding's light, let our work now begin. Decades ago, the Council entrusted me with the task of locating in these West Indies a forgotten place our precursors once called the Observatory. See here. Look upon these images and commit them to memory. They tell a very old and important story. For two decades now, I have endeavored to locate this Observatory, a place rumored to contain a tool of incredible utility and power. It houses a kind of armillary sphere, if you like. A device that would grant us the power to locate and monitor every man and woman on Earth, whatever their location. Only imagine what it would mean to have such a power. With this device, there would be no secrets among men. No lies, no trickery. Only justice, pure justice. This is the Observatory's promise, and we must take it for our own. Do we know its whereabouts? We will soon. For in our custody is the one man who does, a man named Roberts, once called a sage. It has been 45 years since anyone has seen a true sage. Can you be sure this one is authentic? We are confident he is. The assassins will come for him. Indeed they will. But thanks to Duncan and the information he has delivered, the assassins won't be a problem for much longer. All will be made clear tomorrow, gentlemen, when you meet the sage for yourselves. Until then, let us drink. Let us find the observatory together. For with its power, kings will fall, clergy will cower, and the hearts and minds of the world will be ours. Rest well, Duncan. Tomorrow the treasure fleet arrives, and with it, your reward. After which we will discuss further schemes. I look forward to it. Excelente. Meet me down at the docks first thing tomorrow morning. Governor Torres requests your presence at the docks near the Castillo. First thing tomorrow morning.
Sergio. de pasión por Good morning, Duncan. Just over here. Edward? Hello, Edward. I found a man to purchase my remaining sugar. Huh? Quite a coup, I must say. He just called you Edward. Oh, that's the merchant who sailed me here. Out of caution, I gave him a false name. Ah, well done. We'll catch up on it later. Very punctual, Duncan. This way. Here he is. A man both Templars and Assassins have sought for over a decade. I am told your surname is Roberts. Is this so? You recognize this, I think. According to old tales, the blood of a sage is required to enter the observatory. We have the key. Now we need only its location. Perhaps Mr. Roberts will be eager to provide it. Transfer him to my residence. Such a fuss over one man. Is the observatory really such a grand prize? See, si, Sin Luda. The observatory was a tool built by the Precursor race. Its worth is without measure. Precursor race? I see. One of your early letters mentioned a desire to kill the Mayan mentor, Atabai. Were you able to carry out this contract before coming here? I... I was not, no. 
Too many complications along the way. A pity. But the maps you delivered with the blood vial will see that job finished. Aye. That's the idea. I don't like this route, Torres. We're exposed. Something is wrong. Stay close, Grandmaster. I feel it too. Do not let them get their hands on the sage, at whatever cost. Assassins! Above! They're on the rooftops! Watch the streets and alleys. They could be anywhere. You're a nimble one, I'll give you that. Hang back and make this easy on both of us, mate. Kneecap you! We'll see him to the prisons, Grandmaster. Double the watch. Well, I'll be buggered. What an active day we've had, gents. See, you set on all sides by our enemies. We must be more cautious. I do wish I could remain to see our drama done, but I must avail myself of these winds and sail for England. By all means, Captain, speed and fortune to you. <laughs> with luck, I'll return myself a governor. And with my idiot king's blessing, no less. Adios. As for you, Mr. Walpole, I consider this the first payment in a long-term investment. Gracias. Obliged. I would like you to be present for the interrogation tomorrow. Call around noon. Yes, sir.
Lo he encontrado. Eh, tú, ¿Qué? vuelve aquí ahora. God, sink me for this pittance. One thousand reals for those maps. That's what? A hundred pound at most. How's a man supposed to become rich in these times with a miser like Torres running the world? Have you ever, um... Have you ever worked on a plantation before? You know what I'm thinking? I'd like to see this observatory the governor's going on about. He said it were like a device that could follow people around and show where they were. <laughs> a ludicrous idea. Imagine my wife with such an advantage over me. And imagine what a thing like that would be worth. Sell that to the right person and I'd be the richest pirate. Privateer in the West Indies. I'll catch you up on it. There's a sage in that house I must speak to, in private.
¡Alto ahí! ¡Vuelve aquí, perro charnoso! ¡No creas que nos despistarás! What is your true name, Rogue? It's a... Uh... <sighs> Captain Pissoff. Rien que pauvre Pison. Where is the sage? Did you set him free? I had nothing to do with that. Much as I wish I did. Take him to the ports. Send him to Sevilla with the treasure fleet. Oh, wait now! I delivered your treasures, didn't I? You did, yes. But you robbed us of Duncan Walpole. Despicable display. This Tusspot is a ruined man, Caroline. Unfit for life on land, much less at sea. If he goes to the West Indies, it's you who'll suffer. Father! Father! Come, love. Up with you now. That old muckwood! He's wrong about me! I hope it's so. You believe me, don't you? Can you not see me? Standing out there on the deck of a ship that's sliding into port. And there I am, a man of quality. With a thousand doubloons spilling from my pockets. Like drops of rain. I can see it. Cómetela rápido. You hungry? Now what's your plan, mate? Find a weapon and steal the ship. Que Dios nos ayude. No me gusta la pinta de esta tormenta que se acerca. Parece que se está desviando al oeste, hacia el Golfo. Quizá estemos a salvo.
We're stealing a brick. Hey, take what you need. Won't be a minute. There's many prisoners held on these ships. Set them free, and they'll sail with us, no question. So that's the idea, then. Free what men we can, then find a fast ship to flee it. Aye, there's a brig in this fleet. I'll make my way to it. This favor. You're sailing with me. I'd follow you to hell for this, mate. ¿Qué nos está retrasando? Ya deberíamos haber hecho la mitad de la ruta a las Bermudas. Oro, plata, jade, tabaco, lo que se te ocurra. ¡Alto ahí! Come on, lads. If we're to drown today, it won't be here. There's a brig nearby just waiting for us to take her.
más al... Esto es una locura. Cal, quieto ahí. Veamos tus tripas. Saludo de mi parte al del tridente. Deja de retorcerte, pirata. ¿Me entiendes? No te muevas. Going topside. Be ready. Lads, save your singing for Davy Jones and Jagabats. It's a hard wind coming. The man speaks true. You lot weigh anger. As for the rest, half on the foremast and half at the main. Let's outrun this hurricane. Keep watch on those galleons. See, they don't give us trouble. They will far too small for this weather. Wise, mate. We're up against it here. These men know their place. They'll see us home. We're bound to the ship, can we? Fire! Look out, man! I see it. Man, stay away! It's not looking good. Steady as she goes, man.
By God, we pulled this one straight from the teeth of Neptune. I'm Edward. Much thanks for your aid back there. Aduwali. Ever been to Nassau, Aduwali? Not yet. By God, she took some knocks, didn't she? I think I'll keep her. All hands aft, lads! We're taking this one home! I've made my choice at it. I'm calling her the Jackdaw. A sly bird I loved as a child back in Swansea. A dark little creature, no? Did it rub you wrong when I took this brig as mine own? <laughs> it was the sort of rub I have learned to enjoy, sailing among faces of such fairness. It's true. Most of these men wouldn't accept you as a captain. So what fair role would complement such unfairness? I'll be your quartermaster. Nothing less. All right. And as quartermaster, have you any immediate counsel for this Tyro captain? Rest and repast would do us good before Nassau. Water for drinking. Hunting for food and repairs. Well reasoned, sir. Hunting, it shall be. We'll find a decent place to drop anchor. I spied a few items in the hold earlier. Powder and a few pistols. I think I'll fashion a second holster if I can. <laughs> it's a good start. One you find laughable. Could we talk a moment about the condition of the ship? What's the trouble? I had a walk about the gun deck this morning, and couldn't stand for what I saw. A clutter of linstocks heaped like tinder, and one with a slow match still burning. Christ. And just nearby, two barrels of gunpowder, closer than man and wife. Fit to explode at the touch of a spark. We'll stow ours good and proper. As for the cannons, they might as well be tossed. Clogs touch holes in need of scraping, corrosion on the bodies, barrel swabs as naked as knives, and breech ropes so rotted, I could use them for knitting yarn. The short of it is, we need good equipment kept in fine condition. But we cannot win every battle with snares and shouts. So worry about your own armaments when it suits you. But don't forget about your jackdaw as well. No, indeed. We'll make it a point to keep this ship and its crew in fine condition.
that booty. Hey, Captain, find what you need. My needs and wants are oceans apart, mate. But I did fashion myself a new holster. All I need now is a pistol to lie in it. Yeah. Taken from the holds, just as you said. A little more than a blowpipe. But it'll do. So, are we rested? Or should we idle a while longer? Best way, Anchor. I think the crew is itching to reach civilization. You'll find no civilization in NASA. But it's a fine place to be merry all the same.
on, Captain Queernabs. Tell me I'm under arrest. Call me! Damn your breads. Fly away, boyo. Back to your master. Aye. We was privateers together before the wars ended. I'll see you ashore. By God, you're a sight for salty eyes. Come you in and have a drink. Morning, all. Why can't we? Who's this? Adewale, the Jackdaw's quartermaster. Jackdaw. <laughs> you named your brig after a poxy bird. Adi, these lads are the better part of our growing confederacy here. Ed Thatch, Ben Hornigold, James Kidd. You let him carry a pistol, do you? Peace, Ben. Ade saved my life. And now we're looking to find a crew to fill out the rest of my ship. Well, there's scores of capable men abound. We use caution. A shipload of the King's sailors showed up a fortnight back, causing trouble and knocking about it like they own the place. Right. I'll see who I can muster. Jackal. I put them to work. Cheers, Addy. To rough, we can happily oblige. You've been surrounded. Go for Nikade with the devil. Damnation of wrong. Grazie. My thanks. I'm your man now, Capitano.
Thanks. Kenway, isn't it? I'm with you. I all but told him. The poor man's dead. What's your friend? Why not buy the rug? I've got a clear shot! the blood of many innocents on his... I've got a clear shot, man. I have a clear shot. We're not losing that bastard. He's got a clear shot. Oh, I've got a lovely clear shot. Bastard. He's in my sight. 
Now you'll want to sail somewhere rich with plunder. Have you heard of a place called the Observatory? Aye. It's an old legend, like El Dorado or the Fountain of Youth. What have you heard? It's meant to be a temple or a tomb, hiding a treasure of some kind. That's it. You see here. Oh, oh rot. It's fairy stories you prefer a gold, is it? It's worth more than gold, Thatch. Ten thousand times above what we could pull off any Spanish ship. Robbing the king to pay his porpoise is how we earn our keep here, lad. It ain't a fortune. It's a fantasy.
morning, can we? Not a bad-looking tinderbox you got there. You sound a bit green, horny gold. Is it envy? Because mine's bigger than yours. No, I reckon it's this Jamaican funk. I prefer the Spanish stuff. So, you've got yourself a fancy brig now. Fine. Well, I'm gonna teach you how to say it all right. And how to take a prize the proper way. Thatch, we'll catch you up at the old fishing village. Aye. Right. Where's your helmsman, Kenway? I take pride in piloting my own ships, Ben. Keeps me alert. Let's make some headway, shall we? I've no need for schooling. How many prizes did we take together as privateers? <laughs> There's a chasm of difference between joining a raid and captaining one. We're looking out for merchants, boys! Them that's fat with cargo! Find us a schooner with that spyglass, Kenway. You'll get yourself a glimpse of what sort of cargo they're shipping, and a general idea of their toughness. There's a prize worth taking. Good! Take us in close. After you subdue a prize, project authority. Demand respect that you would never give yourself. This weaves a spell for soft money. For your victims must always have the back of the... an easy idea that you could snap at any moment and unseen them from trick to stone. Fire what down if you will, and land a few strikes if you must, but for God's sake don't sink her. It's no fun fishing cargo out of the sea, although it can be done. She's disabled now and taking on a decent amount of water, so keep your cannons quiet. Take care not to sink her! Tengo un buen día, señor. I am Captain Hornigold, and this is my crew. We're sailors like yourselves, but quite unalike in our purpose. For we intend to take all that you own. Yet no harm shall befall any man so long as he remains at ease. Is that clear? No me mate, señor. Tengo familia. Se lo suplico. Anyone speak English? English! L little bit. Tell your friends we're stealing your goods. And we won't hurt nobody if everyone stays as still as a sandbar. You got that? <laughs> Please do repeat. Oh, for fuck's sake. Lock them in the hold and take everything that isn't nailed down. Shaky feeling sailing about with this much stolen cargo. Get used to it. We'll need to take a few more prizes to make this a profitable day. Get those bars free. Let's see that dock. Loose all. Let's move. Love it. Loose all.
today, can we? Half a dozen scores of that size and you'll be set for a year. Now let's sell this cargo and fix up your jack door with a few more trinkets. Sod a year. I'm looking for a prize that'll set me up for life. I'll be king of the West Indies then. We came to Nassau to get away from the likes of kings. Well, I'll be a man of property and promise anyway. Jesus, let that dream go, lad. Nassau is the place to be. Not England. Do you ever dream of the big score? A ship so full of gold and silver you just split it and sail home? Sure, but it's only a dream. Every man hopes to find a dozen chests of gold with no owners. They're as rare as an honest king. ¿Necesita algo? Not a bad take today. Keep this up and Nassau will be the first city where men and women may live as God made them. Easy and free. All it takes is a few drops of blood, sweat, and a swatch of cloth. We fly no colors out here, but praise the lack of them. So let the black flag signal nothing but your allegiance to man's natural freedoms. This one's yours. Light proud. I will. A hand over the docket I lend you. If we're to keep our Republic afloat, we'll need guns as well as gold. That means attacking the Navy. So long as they're flying King Philip's colors will not offend our own monarch. As you've likely seen, the number of merchants roving these waters is three score the number of military ships. Right. Easy purchase, but in small doses. Right. So to lure the Navy out of hiding, it's best to cause a bit of mischief. Fail ho! Military class brig on the horizon! Good eye, man. Are you ready for this, Kenway? She won't go down without an honest fight. Who's up for taking that brig, lads? Shall die! 
That's a sound I like to hear. Pipe to quarters. All hands to cannon. Careful around the Navy. They're as likely to ram you as fire a broadside. Let's test those powder barrels. Shall we? Aye, good thinking. Triple up. Fire! Ready to fire, sir! Come on, let the ram us, Captain! Clue up! Clue up! Douse the bins! Muzzle them! Fire! Look, Captain, well placed shot there! Fire! Fire! That's all exposed! Take the shot! Fire! Arrange for impact!
That was a rumble, by God. I'll be back. A fine purchase, no mistake. Now I think it's time to lay low and drive our way back into secrecy. Agreed. So how do we get rid of this notoriety you've stirred up? Money, my boy. Well-placed bribe to the right government official. See the military off your tail. Right, let's do that. I need to meet these good Samaritans at some point. Smart thinking. to ram us, drop mine to the great countermeasure. Every last grab of duck on the wind. All set. Bring them up tight. Come and hearty like. Yeah. 
chain shot can take away her speed.
Loose and trim too. Loose topsail, gallants and royals. You need to vanish, friend. Lovely. I'll make sure they forget you, friend. You're a wonder, Kenway. You've a knack for this kind of work. It ain't work if you love it. Ah, ah, scotch. But I ain't doing this forever, lads. Only until I get enough coin to buy some land and influence back home. <laughs> Jesus, will you listen to your tripe? Still dreaming all about that strumpet back in England when you could have any better you wanted here and now. Ah, such lofty goals for you, gents. And here I thought I was in the company of scoundrels. Fine purchase today. What's the crew's mood? All smiles and no teeth. And there's a few talking about meeting with Master Kid to steal from a nearby plantation. Plantation? That's ambitious. Profitable too, if we can manage it. Aye. It's a good idea.
Why, look. It's the bastard son of the late William Kidd. Still a mere boy, and yet... ten times the demon his father was. Fancy seeing you here, can we? Still looking sleek and mean. Did you steal that costume from a dandy in Havana? No, sir. I found this on a corpse. One that was walking about and talking shite to my face only moments before. Huh. So, what's this I hear about a planned raid on a plantation? Not keeping secrets from me, are you? Not very well. Every day, schooners packed with sugar sail past, coming from plantations nearby. Most times they stop here, sell off a few crates. There's one man visiting today that had earned you a fine profit. So if you'd like to rob his plantation, I'll point him out. I would. Is it a Mr. Beckford that owns this plantation? That's the man. He owns dozens round these islands, and he's bloody rich. Just the sort I like to see robbed. His agent is around here somewhere. Find and follow him, and he'll lead you straight to your prize. <clears throat> Mr. Bedford knows are fair, and with a quality he knows is sound. It gladdens me to hear your say, sir. But despite the waywardness of your enterprise here, I understand that you are men of discernment. Burford, Manning, to me. We've done with this place. Aye, sir. What's our course? We'll return to the plantation and then take stock of our inventory. It's a good harm. You might not talk so loud, sir. This isn't anything like a friendly port, Ken. Nonsense, man. I had a delightful conversation with a chap just now. He came to quite an understanding. As you see, sir. All up and unfurl, boys. We're going home. the look of a man crafting a bold idea. The look I've seen before. You mark well, Ade. I've just overheard one of the Beckford's men talking grandly about his plantation and all the cargo he's keeping there. And it gave me the idea that I might take these goods off him and sell them off for a better price than he'd ever ask. <laughs> ah, a man of vision. I like this idea. Trouble of four. I see them. Sir, to starboard. Looks like booty. Starboard. 
Human Fluxen, Captain. Think he's breathing. Brief the cockles and gather. Stansons, let's ride this wall! Hostile warship We're closing! Captain. Kata! Royal bloody knight! He's off the wind! Top! Gallants! Royals! Stand! And your sheets! Ghost the Gallants and Royals! Stansons in! Clue up! Backfoot's people. Do you know them? The Backfoots and their sugar empire. Aye. The Backfoots and the Draxes. I never worked their plantations, but I knew their names from hearing other men curse them. But you worked the plantation, no? A modest one, aye. As a striker in the boiling house. Boiling house? Was it water they boiled, or something else? Cane juices. It's a hard process making sugar. Dangerous, too. It must be why it fetches such a dear price. What's it like? Toiling on a plantation day and night. Well, with the cane sugar cut and harvested, it's run between two metal rollers that crush the juice from the plant. After collecting the juice, it was time to boil away the waters from the sugar. This we did in tatches made of copper. But let me tell you, brother, boiling sugar is near the hottest thing on earth. Just a touch on the skin will stick like wood lime and burn on, leaving a terrible scar. Jesus. Too close. The soldiers roving the plantation would catch us for sure. Drop here then and sneak ashore. We'll look after the jackal. such disarray. Bit of a do, sir, that's all. It's Wellington's birthday. And you saw fit to get pickled on duty. No bother, sir. We've got everything sorted. We'll soon see, won't we? For you must double the watch this evening. Double, sir? Whatever for? I believe I was followed. By pilots in my eyes on me, though the ship was uncommonly large for such rascals. Certainly wasn't slavers, though, not a ship that size. In any case, double the watch, and keep your damned eyes wide for anything suspicious. You up there! Look alive, man! You've a job to do! 
Apologies, sir. I'll keep my eyes peeled. For God's sake, what the hell is going on here today? How do you suppose you'll be able to ring that alarm if you're pissed drunk and barely able to stand? Forgive me, sir. I am fit and able. If I see any strangeness about, you'll hear the bell ringing straight away, I promise. God damn it! Someone find me the key! Is there no one sober here? Fetch me the warehouse key, if you please! Important. You heard the man. Stop. Got to lie, dog, dog. Death, don't move him again. Old mine. Come back here and face us like a man. Gods, the bastard's running. Come back here and face us like a man.
Get ahead, sir! All in the sunset! Loose all! Let's move! Down's all but me! Fall down and screw up! Throw those men! Captain's overboard! Here's to our pirate republic, lads. We're prosperous and free and out the reach of kings, clergy, and debt collectors. Near 500 men now pledge their allegiance to the brethren of the coast in Nassau. 
Not a bad number. Truth. Yet we lack sturdy defenses. If the king were to attack the town, he'd trample us. Then let us find the observatory. If it does what these Templars claim, we'll be unbeatable. Not that twaddle again, can we? It's a story for schoolboys. I mean, proper defenses. Steal a galleon, shift all the guns to one side. Would make a nice ornament for one of our harbors. It will not be easy to steal a full Spanish galleon. Have you one in mind? I do, sir. And I'll show you. She's a fussock, she is. Fat and slow. midst of a hurricane. Just before the treasure fleet was smashed against the shore. Was the hall aboard as rich as men are saying? A thousand times that. I reckon a million pounds worth the three hours the sun that day. Devil love a hurricane. Boy, have a dive there one day. See what we can rummage up. Diving them wrecks would be a nice change of pace for us. No need for violent actions against merchants and such. Well... That's some soft talk coming from a pirate. And as it happens, I must agree. We'll save the clashing of cutlasses for the military. And them that get in our way. she goes. No telling what you may find out here. Like staring through a waterfall. Don't soil your breeches, lads. I got this. A monster, look at the size of her. Aye, and we've not last long face to face with her. Hear that, can we? Keep your distance. We'll strike when fortune favors us. Under cover of darkness, most likely. Aye, oh, it may come to that. All sail! He'll take it! All sail! Garrison! Spanish! Just a low sick cap! 
I would say the danger has passed. Charles Vane. He's as reckless as they come. An old friend of yours. Not a man I call a friend. But we've been doing this kind of work for so long, I can't help but respect the man. Slinking off with his tail between his legs. That's good news for us. Bleeding bastards! We'll have to deal with this skirmish fast. Forget the galleon and send these interlopers to hell! Fire! We're ready, sir! Fire! Sales! Crow 
Hands it all off! Sailing for that island. I know the place. A natural stronghold used by a French captain named Ducasse. Julian Ducasse, the Templar. The name's right. Didn't know he had a title. I know the man. And if he sees my ship, he'll know it from his time in Havana, meaning he may wonder at who's sailing her now. I can't risk that. And I don't want to lose that galleon. Let's think on. Maybe wait till it's dark before hopping aboard. Gentlemen, as is custom among our kind, we do not plunge headlong into folly on the orders of a single madman, but act according to our own collective madness. <laughs> the object of our attention is a square-rigged galleon, and we want her for the advantage she'll bring Nassau. So I'll put it to the vote. All those in favor of storming this cove and taking this ship, Stomp and shout I! Those who oppose, whimper nay! Never was the King's Council so unified.
estarás criando malvas. No lo pienso perder. Cortadle el pollo. ¡Hazte prisa! ¡No lo perdáis! ¡Alto! ¡Quiero hablarte!
Vuelve y pelea como un hombre. Vuelve aquí. Cree que se puede escapar. Vuelve y pelea como un hombre. Cree que se puede escapar. Vuelve aquí. Ah, hemos perdido a esa rata. the last time we will see land for a month. before dawn. Vamos! The prisa! We fall harbors to hit this week. This is the last time we will see land for a month. You remember the gift you gave me? Well, it answers just fine. Fist of Putain! As bold as a musket ball, and still half as sharp. I'm sorry about this, mate. But I can't risk you telling your Templar friends about me still kicking around. I pity you, Bukhanyi. After all you have seen, after all we showed you of our order, still, you embrace the life of an ignorant and aimless rogue! Ah. What's this? Is petty larceny the extent of your ambition? Have you no mind to comprehend the scope of ours? All the empires on Earth abolished, a free and open world, without parasites like you! 
que l'enfer que tu trouveras soit le fruit de ton insouciance. The cove is ours! I just saw you were logging out, so I thought I'd stop by and give you something. A little welcome gift. We give awards to our top-notch employees for doing quality work. And they're nice to have, since there's no official bonus scheme here. I already have about 11 or so. Oh. Bonjour. Of course. I'll pass it on. Well, looks like Olivier wants to meet with you. It's exciting. Follow me. It's on the top floor, so it's not hard to find. But the rest of this building can be confusing to first-timers, so we had the tools team whip up a great map application. Check your communicator. I added a waypoint to Olivier's office. Should be easy to find. Olivier's a nice guy. He won't bite. Right in. He's waiting for you. Well, well, unless you are specifically ordering me to abandon it, I won't uh, jeopardize our flagship project. Edward Kenway is the... But this is... But this is how Hollywood got its start, right? With pirate movies. Douglas Fairbanks, Errol Flynn, and now we have access to the real deal. <sighs> wait, wait. Exactly. We'll talk about all that together at the shareholders' event. Right. Looking forward to seeing you too. Take care, Letizia. Salut! Hi! Thanks for coming in. I know you're busy. So, I reviewed some of your data. Pretty raw stuff. Obviously, we need to scrub off some of the dirt to make it family-friendly. Maybe give Edward a voice like uh, James Bond or something. More of a ladies' man. A beautiful city, no? So the main reason I asked you here concerns is something called the Observatory. It's uh, been mentioned a few times in the footage you found. I'd like to encourage you to focus on locating this specific set of memories as soon as possible. If it were up to me, on s'en crisse. I wouldn't bother. But some bigwigs at Abstergo Industries have been hounding me for days. So, follow whatever leads you find and hopefully we can... Oh, incoming call. I have to take this. We'll keep in touch. Bonne journée. Alan, bonjour. Oui, 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 tout va bien. Naturellement. Hi, John from IT again. You got a second? Good. I'm adding a waypoint to your map. So, uh, a colleague of yours left for vacation this morning and forgot to send a video file she promised me. Since I hate just about everyone else on your floor, I was hoping you could help me. 
Could you transfer the file from her computer and deliver it to the courier when she comes? It'll be easy. You just wander over to their animus, log in, and transfer the file. Easy. And please be snappy before I find a reason to hate you, too. of me having level one security clearance. Now, you do too. Don't abuse it. Log on and I'll walk you through this. Now, you need to bypass the core to find the data inside. Once you reach it, your communicator will download it automatically. You need to find your way around the core to reach the data inside. file section in your communicator and you'll be redirected right away everything you download will be found in there uh protected by a firewall of course december 23rd 2012 sample recovery unit team lead fisher case reporting on subject 17 desmond miles the subject was deceased and unattended Time of death was placed around 0 hundred hours and 7 minutes with conditions favorable for DNA sample recovery. We had some initial concerns about interference in the vault, but given the skill and talent of this team, we were able to capture useful data. I personally retrieved the subject's backpack and extracted a number of objects of interest to undergo detailed analysis. The subject displayed burns to the right hand, severe enough to fuse the bones, indicating some kind of spontaneous, intense burn trauma. Honestly, we've never seen anything like it before. Head, neck, and torso remained in good condition. I hand-selected recovery agents to retrieve fluid samples, blood and saliva. We then commenced material extraction and were able to preserve several exemplary samples. Data analysis and sequencing is already underway and, I'm told, proceeding with exceptional ease thanks to the cloud database and the work of Abstergo Sample Recovery Unit 3. The legacy of Subject 17 will continue uninhibited as Sample 17. Oh, you're better at this than I'd hoped. Now zip on down to the lobby, come on. See that file you acquired? I wouldn't recommend watching it. I mean, ooh, you could, but it's unpleasant. So once you hand it off, just pretend it never happened, okay? Otherwise, you'll just go to bed feeling sad. Anyway, the courier should be waiting downstairs. She's been here a while. I suppose it goes without saying, just because you now know how to hack all your colleagues' computers, it doesn't mean you should. I mean, not every day, right? I am not sure I can keep this up, you know? This job is well below my skill level. Yeah, well, your coffee is shit. You could use some practice. What? what? No, no, no. I followed that recipe to the letter. It's an art, Sean, not a science. Oh, look who's here. So you didn't forget, after all, you're just incredibly rude. And made poor Rebecca here wait for nearly 30 minutes. You lie me. Be nice. Sorry about him. He's high on his own supply. So, how should we do this? Data transfer? Great, that should do it. We'll email you the receipt. Till next time, take care, Sean. Bye-bye, yes, bye. And don't expect any more free coffee. Arrogant. She's great, isn't she? Hey, I just got word the courier has come and gone. Wonderful, you're a miracle. No, 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 that's an exaggeration. You're not a miracle. You're an employee, doing a job. But thanks for helping out. Anyway, thanks. Have fun. Pirating. Assistance au niveau 2, projet échantillon 17. Support to the second floor, sample 17 project. Oh, yeah. 
Oi. Where are you going? The market? No, I... My parents have asked me to come live with them. And I'd like to. Oh, what do you mean, live with them? You live here with me. I'm sorry, Edward, but my father is right. You had a decent wage when you worked the farm. Why can you not be satisfied with that? With me? Decent wage? That job was near as damn it to robbery. You want to be married to a peasant the whole of your life? All right, Edward. All right. You leave now, Caroline. You'll never know what's coming to us. Caroline! Caroline! Oh. Wake up, can we? What's that about? He left this morning with the galleon, as Faith will discover a good use for this old cove ourselves. I will make something of it in time. We could keep a fleet here if we like. And with a bit of fixing up, it'd be a decent place to call home. Might even convince my wife to come one day. You're married, are you? In God's eyes, I am. She left me some time ago. Even so, keep that fact hid away. Most of these pirates don't respect a man with higher commitments than rum and plunder. Upon mine honor, let me know if you find anything. Odd-looking things, aren't they? Old and weathered. Is this what they call Mayan? Or is it Aztec? Are you good with riddles, Edward? Puzzles and ponderings and the like. No worse than the next man, why? I think you've a natural gift for it. The way you think and work. The way you understand the world. Well, I don't know about that. You're talking in riddles now and I don't understand a word. Clamber on top of this thing here, will you? Help me solve something. Concentrate and focus all your senses. Look past shadow and sound, deep into matter. Ah, oh, right. I know this feeling. I have since I was a lad. It's like using every sense at once, isn't it? To see sounds and hear shapes. Quite a combination. Every man and woman on this earth has in them a kind of intuition hidden deep away. I've had this sense most of my life. Only I thought it was related in some way to my dreaming or the like. Most never find it. Others, it takes years to tease out. But for a rare few, it comes as natural as breathing. What you feel is the light of life. Of living things past and present. The residue of vitality. Come and gone. Any man's senses can be tuned well past what he's born with. If he tries. You are a gifted man, Edward. Has a strange look. Is it worth something? Nothing you can spend. But if you find all of them, it'll lead to something grand. How many? A few dozen, I think. This way. 
have something else to show you. I found something else just here. I think you'll take this secret much faster. Now this has the makings of a mystery. It's good, isn't it? Only wait till you see what lies at the end. Here we are. What do you think? I think Monsieur Ducasse was a man of many secrets. Aye, and look here. A solid staircase leading God knows where. What do you suppose lies at the top? From what I knew of Ducasse, I wouldn't be surprised to find eclectic instruments of torture and villainy. An Iron Maiden or a collection of thumbscrews. Or a pair of anguish. <laughs> Not a nice way to kick off, but that is some damn fine gear. Try the key you took from Ducasse. That's one. Only four left. Aye. It might be that these four Templars have them. See the names here? They've been sent to kill these four targets. Hang me, that's the map I sold to Governor Torres in Havana. He said it marked the location of assassin encampments. You think maybe you owe them a bit of warning, then? If you have any kind of heart beating in that chest. Suppose I could. If it leads me to the four other keys. Bad excuse is better than none at all. Leaving already. I think this cove suits you best, Edward. Better than that costume does. Oh, come on now. We're pirates, kid. We take as we please and become who we like. Self-made men. But that look ain't you. It's not who you are. Who am I, then? Hard to tell some days. All I know is you like dangerous prizes. Like the observatory. I think you know more about that than you let on in NASA. You noticed that, did you? Meet me at 20 degrees, three minutes latitude, just off the coast of Yucatan. I'll have something to show you there in a few weeks' time. Captain, we found a trove of nautical maps and ledgers and the like, scattered about the village. You'll find them sorted in the captain's quarters of the Jackdaw. Quality stuff. Nautical maps and ledgers? Might come in useful if we decide to build up a fleet of our own. Exactly my thinking, Captain. 
Have a look for yourself and tell me what you think. Captain's trick. What's our course today, Captain? It's a fine day for any kind of mischief. What's your feeling? I'll make no secret of wanting to see the British brought to heel. If we can take their gold and put it to use ourselves, I'd be a happy man. Spoken like a true Welshman, Ade. <laughs> and what's your aim? Master Kidd hinted at a prize he was eager to show me down in Tulum. Quite some distance, mind, on the Yaktan Peninsula. You trust him to play it fair? I can't be sure. He has a way of picking away at my conscience that gives me pause. I should go see him soon. So long as we take some prizes along the way, I'm sure the crew will understand. I'll set a course for Tulum.
Tutus, Kubu Kintikuno, Kuntur Kunisu, Ukonikel Mashake, Bukahu Masuptal, Yangwal Tiletie. Jesus, Kate! You led me into a mess. Is it these monks guarding the treasure you promised me? I told you I had a secret to share, but I didn't say it'd be easy. Now let's get this door open and I'll show you what's inside. We're on to something. I can feel it. Captain Kenway? What is the assassin, Dunker Walpole? Dead and buried. After he tried to kill me. We are not sorry to see him gone. But it was you who carried out his final betrayal. Why? Money was my only aim. Should I find comfort in that? You murdered our brothers and sisters in Havana. He has the sense, mentor. James tells me you treated with the Templars there. Did you see the man they called the Sage? Aye. Would you recognize his face if you saw it again? I reckon so. I must be certain. Not a word. Come on.
You walk me blind and backwards into this mess, kid. Who the hell was that jester back there? Atabai. An assassin. And my mentor. So you're all part of some daffy religion? We're assassins and we follow a creed, aye. But it does not command us to act or submit. Only to be wise. Oh, do tell. I'd love to hear it. Nothing is true. Everything is permitted. This is the world's only certainty. Everything is permitted. I like the sound of that. Thinking what I like and acting how I please. Ah! That's a door, I reckon. Aye. And there should be some way to open it. Like a capstan. Those blocks up there. Try moving them. So it's you lot them Templars have been chasing then. Until you came along and mucked things up, it was us chasing them. We had them running scared. They have the upper hand now. The door's mechanism seems to be brought. Let's find another way around. Follow on, man. Jump! Enough to curse you with, kid! Great treasure beyond. Treasure? Right. Whatever's waiting at the end of this path had better be worth my time. That'll depend on you. How's that? What I only hope you could take the shock of it. I can handle myself. That's it then. The grand prize your mentor asked me to see looks nothing like the man they called the Sage, I'm sorry to say. Keep your trousers tied up. With one more riddle to solve. These statues are like the ones we've seen before. Pictures carved on them. There's pictures carved on the floor as well, but not of the same sort. There's a correspondence there. But what? The other is prey. Which predator goes with which prey? That's the question. Right, there's your correspondence. Match a predator with its prey.
Jesus, that's him, the sage. But this thing must be hundreds of years old. Older still. You're certain it's him? Aye. It's the eyes that mark him. Did the Templars say why they wanted this sage? They drew some of his blood into this small glass cube. Like this one? Aye. They meant to ask him about the observatory too, but he escaped. Huh. We're finished, dear. What the hell did I just see back there? Jim! Quiet. The statue in the temple. Was that the man you saw in Havana? Spitting likeness, I. It seems another sage has been found. The race for the observatory begins anew. Is that why we're whispering? This is your doing, Captain Kenway. The maps you sold to the Templars have led them straight to us. And now the agents of two empires know exactly where we operate. Leave this to me, Mentor. They have taken Edward's crew as well. I wonder what their lives are worth to him. Take this. You'll attract no attention. And take fewer lives. Darts on this one coming now. Quick. Quiet and effective, see? You've seen this temple here? Massive. I'm wondering if it's full of gold and jade and the like. Oh, Zilesh. Touch Bahesh, and you tell Winiko Mac Abed Kachli. Has to be, don't it? Where else would the Dagos get it? They're pulling it out of the ground, aren't they? Many thanks, but no forgiveness. He's off me. He ain't got nothing on us. Play God perish. If this ever happens again. It was a slaver who brought these soldiers. Or he thinks himself.
Here's Captain. Courtesy. Well, that's a queer combination. Is it out of kindness you do this? Or this? Mess, eh? <clears throat> I may thank you later if you manage to live through this. Who's out there? See that mangy old codger? He's a Dutch slaver called Lorenz Prinz. Living now like a king in Jamaica. Bastard's been a target for years. Bloody hell, we nearly had him. By God, you bravos are a cheery bunch, eh? All frowns and furrowed brows. Captain Kenway, you have remarkable skills. Oh, thanks, mate. It comes natural. But you're churlish and arrogant. Prancing around in a uniform that you have not earned. Everything is permitted. Isn't that your motto? I absolve you of your errors in Havana and elsewhere. But you are not welcome here. Sorry, mate. Wish it were otherwise. Cheery bunch of mates you've got. You deserve scorn, Edward. Prancing about like one of us, bringing shame to our cause. And what is that? Your cause? To be blunt, we kill people. Templars and their associates. 
folks who'd like to control all the empires on Earth, claiming it's in the name of peace and order. Sounds like Dukas' dying words. You see? It's about power, really. About lording over people, robbing us of liberty. Got another message from one of your friends. Aye. I'll show you. I know you ain't exactly impressed by our creed. So would the sight of money make you more friendly to our ways? As ever. <laughs> then work these contracts around the West Indies for us, and we'll pay you. As simple as that. Now follow on. I have one last secret to share. How long have you been one of these assassins, eh? Couple years now. I met Atabai in Spanish town. And there was something about him I trusted. Sort of wisdom. Is all this his idea? His clan? No, sir. Assassins and Templars have been at war for thousands of years. All over the world. The natives of this new world had a philosophy like our creed for as long as they've been here. And when Europeans arrived, our group sort of matched up. Cultures and religions and languages keep folks divided. But there's something in the Assassin's Creed that crosses all boundaries. A fondness for life and liberty. Sounds a bit like Nassau, no? <laughs> Close. But not quite. Here we are. Take that stone you discovered from the Mayan Stella. And put it there. That's one. Couple dozen more and you're in. And what will this effort gain me? Respect for a start. From the men and women you put in danger here. And if that ain't enough... There's a treasure behind that door. Something many centuries old. I reckon if you made the effort to find every last one of those, it'd be worth your while. So are you sailing back to NASA? When I have another contract there, right? Well, this is my home for now. the same as every other squat I've robbed this past year. Oi, oi. Why the long face? You falling in love? With your <laughs> blouse. You're welcome to Nassau, gents. Everyone is that does their fair share. Fair share? What is this, a fucking monastery? <clears throat> we was uh, led to believe that Nassau was a place where men did as they pleased. Safe keeping others from doing the same. Aye. Captain Thatch, as I live and breathe. What is this magnificent muzzle you cultivate? Eh? Why fly a black flag when a black beard will do? What brings you two gents this far north? The word is, Cuban governor himself is fixing to receive a mess of gold from a nearby fort. 
Until then, it's just sitting there. Itching to be took. Governor Torres himself, eh? Sounds promising. Welcome to Nassau, Captain Vane. Mr. Rackham. Uh, 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 now, uh, where can a man find a bit of rough? Do you know what I mean? What will you do with your share of the gold we take from Governor Torres? Return to Africa, the prince among men. I cannot return to a place I've never been. I was born in Trinidad, a slave from my first breath. Yeah. But wouldn't you feel, I don't know, more welcome there? As you might feel more welcome in Paris. Fair point. <laughs> with this skin and this voice, where can I go in the world and feel at ease? This country here is my best chance. It's a country called Jackdaw, where I know the names of all citizens and they know mine, and we work together. Not always out of love, but to keep our country afloat. I understand you. Let's take her then. The citizens of Jackdaw!
Your Excellency. I'd got word you might be here. I know your face, pirate, but your name was borrowed the last time we spoke. Ah, yes, I recall. Mr. Duncan Walpole. I missed that one. So, what's a Templar Grand Master doing so far from his Castillo? I'd rather not say. And I'd rather not cut your lips off and feed them to you. Two years ago, we offered a reward for the sage's recapture. Today, someone claims to have found him. This gold is his ransom. Who found him? A slaver by the name of Lawrence Prince. He lives in Kingston. We like this story, Torres. And we want to help you finish it. But we're going to do it our way, using you and your gold. Here's how it goes. Torres meets with Prince, carrying a portion of the ransom, saying the rest is close behind. When we see the Sage, you bring in the rest of the gold, make the swap, and get out. I'll be watching all from close by. No, Kim, you run this scheme alone, at the risk of losing the fate of your crew. It makes me ill to think of you bartering with that wretched slaver. Come on, mate. Once we have the Sage, we'll all be rich. Not if young Master Kid gets to him first. Kid? Jesus. That lad's here to kill him. Edward! What the hell are you doing here? I'm tailing these men to this... Aye. And Prince is leading us straight to him. All right, Jesus. I'll stay in my belief for a time, not long. <laughs>
How long has it been since our last meeting, Senor Prince? A year? Near 18 months. You first described this Roberts fellow to me in November of 1715. has changed in that short time, you know. None call me governor, for instance, for I quit that post last year. Ah, oh, I was not aware. So many churches in Kingston. Have the English at last taken to converting their slaves to the Christian faith? Ha! Convert them? God knows, Torres. There's none here so foolish as that. Foolish? How do you mean? Is it not a sin to enslave a fellow Christian? Therefore, to transmute a slave's soul from animal to man would be tantamount to inviting one's cattle to the dinner table. Forgive my impatience, but how far is it here? We are nearly there. Ugh. Ground, slave, and face corporal punishment like a man. Why act like a man now? When you have denied me that I right find for 30 years. Fighting or thinking, feeling men deserve respect and opportunity. Ah, oh, you Spaniards. Your long ties to the Moors have diluted your blood and suffered. Ah, oh, you Spaniards. Your long ties to the Moors have diluted your blood and softened your hearts. This is not to say I believe in the natural equality of all races or sexes. Truly, men with talent and intelligence should lead. But there is no true profit to be gained by the practice of slavery. In the short term, but in the long term, we render us the victims of our own success. Ah, but you and I, sir, old as we are, will not live to see that unfortunate day. So why bother? Chattering about slaves and their pitiable condition. Let us conclude this transaction, then celebrate as friends. Yes. Other stories about you, Trusha. You were a governor in Florida for a time. See, si, see. Si. I am one of a number of civil servants in my family. A long line of politicians. I have always toyed with the idea of entering politics myself. Only I feel I have too much money and not enough years. Speaking of stories, Prince, I've heard it said you were with Henry Morgan the day he sacked Panama. 1671, was it? Oh, it's all true, yes. But let us not overesteem the honors forged and won on the battlefield. That skirmish was a deadly one and a tremendous waste of coin and resources. 
It wasn't until many years after that I sheathed my sword in favor of a far safer and yet more profitable venture. Capital and resources, that's where money is made. And so, if a touch less permanent. It wasn't until many years after that I sheathed my sword in favor of a far safer and yet more profitable venture. Capital and resources, that's where money is made. And sir, let me tell you, honor bought is more enjoyable than honor won, if a touch less permanent. I grow tired of this walk. We must be close. Yes, just here. We must be on equal footing, you see. I don't trust Templars any more than you must trust me. Well, if I had known you were so skittish, I'd have brought you a bouquet of flowers. Oh, I don't know why I bother. For the money, I suppose. The vast sums of money. You, um... You say you came alone, Paris? Not alone, but certainly without colleagues. I took passage aboard a British merchant's brig. Ah. Now's the time! Oh. Not until we see the sage. Here's a quiet spot. I'll see the money. This is a portion of the ransom. The rest is close at hand. It pains me to traffic someone of my own race for profit, Mr. Torres. Tell me again, what has this Robert fellow done to upset you? Is this some form of Protestant piety I'm not familiar with? Perhaps another day. What? Next time, see to it that we are not far out. Deal with this! Ah. You cocked up my kill, Kenway. For a better cause. No! Jim, stop! Not this time, Kenway. Come on, man! We can work this together! You had your chance. Stay your blade, kid! Wait! Jim, stop! Well, when I first came... A mother from a priest might be in order, no? <laughs> Damn you old strats, keep your natty hands off me! I can't let you kill those men, kid. Not until I found the sage. I've been stalking that pig for a week now, charting his moves, and here I find not one but two of my targets, and you robbed me of both! Patience, man. You have your kills. When I locate the sage, you're helping me take Prins. Got that! Ugh. <sighs> 
standard issue. Wouldn't you prefer meeting in a pub? I came to Kingston chasing a target. Getting pissed ain't a priority. We could work together on this, you know. It's Lawrence Prince you're after. I want his prisoner. We're after the sage as well, Edward. Careful who you cross. May the best man win. There's guards patrolling that property from end to end. Looks to me like they use bells to signal trouble. See there? We'll want to disable those before pushing too far. With so many men about, we can't rely on stealth alone, so... I'll do what I can to distract and draw their attention. Giving you a chance to cut them down. Ready? Your name's not James, is it? Not most days. Come on. Prince before I do. Kill it, and there'll be a bit of coin in it for you. All right. Damn. Damn. Nothing. Thank <laughs> you. 
gone home with her if I had been so mean. But we had a row and I said something nasty about the Pope. That's a bit daft, isn't it? You know she's Catholic. Yeah, I know she's Catholic. I didn't know the Pope was. Hey, you all right? Gotta be off the naughty on those.
Ground. Please, I've been shot. I need aid. Christ, Thompson, look at her. She's hurt. Dreadfully, sir. I'm poorly. All right. I'm faint. Take an arm, lass. Bless you, lads. Mr. Prince says to keep your eyes peeled tonight. Says there's some men about bent on making trouble. I'll spread the word! Could be right here. Uh, uh. Who then? You are the most inarticulate booger I've ever met. Oh, you man. He's got to do with self harm. <clears throat> Keep the slippery bastard in sight, boys. boys.
you time. You can't escape us. Alarm! Alarm! Alarm's being spoiled. <laughs> Why hang over me like a leering crow? To see an old man suffer? You've caused no small portion of suffering yourself, Mr. Prince. Retribution, I suppose. You absurd cutthroats and your precious philosophy. You live in the world, but you cannot make it move. You mistake my motive, old man. I'm only after a bit of coin. <laughs> As was I, lad. As was I. Heads up, Kenway! I found your man! I remember you. The Templar from Havana. I'm no Templar, mate. That was just a ruse. We've come here to save your ass from this slaver. Save me? I work for Mr. Prince. Well, then he's a poor man to call master. He meant to sell you out to the Templars. Oh, you can't trust anyone, it seems. <laughs> Lost your man again, did you? Aye. Roberts is a devil with a queer aversion to kindness. I suppose that's two men I've lost today. So, what's your real name, lass? Mary Reed to my mum. 
And them I call friends. But not a word of it to anyone. Or I'll unman you as well. Every minute we tarry is a waste of time and breath. Do worry, won't you? Quiet.
Another? A rum flip this time. And where'd I find fresh eggs in this wretched town? There's little else but piss and insects. Ah, we're working on that. Mm -hmm. Dear lady, what do they call you? And when mm. they're sober, a jilt when they're sauced. But never, lady. Oh, <laughs> well, good Leanne. I, 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 oh, 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 oh. <sighs> Back of shite! Do you hear me? It's a bag of bloody shite! It's a ruse to keep us off before they attack Nassau. You'll see, mark me. It's no ruse, Fiend. I heard it straight from the mouth of a greasy Bermudan captain. There's a pardon on offer for any pirate that wants it. Ruse or no, I think it's plain the British may return to Nassau with arms, no doubt. We'll need a plan. Walk with us, can we? There's trouble brewing. What's your friend? In the absence of any clear ideas, I say we lay low. No piracies and no violence. Do nothing to ruffle the king's feathers for now. Preserving the king's plumage is no concern of mine, man. It will be when he sends his soldiers to scrub this island clean of our residue. Look around you, man. Is this cesspool worth dying for? Aye! It's our republic! Our idea! A free land for free men, remember? So maybe it's filthy to look at. But ain't it still an idea worth fighting for? I can't be sure. But when I look on the fruits of our years of labor, all I see is sickness, idleness, idiocy. Not a sunbeam of difference between here and London, then, eh? That is right, man. But taking a wide view, they're not doing so bad out here. The sun, rum, and leisure as far as the eye can see. Aye. Nassau may look fine from a distance, but at its core, there's a disease I cannot stomach. Sickness can be cured, Ben. If only you have the right medicine. But a corpse cannot be reanimated. I can't believe the shite I'm hearing drop from your lips. Why not take the pardon now and be done with it? Peace, both of you. We can satisfy both aims if we work together. Find medicines to ease our burdens here, but in a way that don't attract the British. I wager the nearest doctor is sitting pretty in Havana. Not a place I mean to go. But the Spanish Burning fleet that sunk two years Get back with acid medicine. All sealed up in glass vials. You'd need a diving bell to reach those depths. Aye, and with some coin and a few supplies, a diving bell won't be hard to come by. This is a plan I can stand behind. Find medicines without stirring up trouble. Agreed, Thatch. Agreed. Aye. I'll meet you near the wrecks as soon as you're able, Kenway. Remember, Thatch, keep your cannons court. Piss off, man. You require my services. Mutually agreeable, I'm sure.
Devil in his hole, Thatch. This is a darling galley. 32 guns, is it? I lost count at 40. You've stepped up a rung. So, any luck finding medicines here? Nothing round this spot, sadly. But there's a few wrecks yonder that have been scoured by nothing but crabs and coral. I'll have a look. Edward? Edward, is that you? My goodness, the West Indies is a compact place. Hello, Bonnet. A surprise seeing you out here? I met Mr. Thatcher a month or so ago, and he offered to take me under his yard arms, so to speak. Says I must wash the hayseed from my hair before I'm a true pirate. Well, good luck to you, then. Worst men have become better under Blackbeard's watch.
found one crate hidden beneath a school of sharks. Sadly, the elixir inside is quite spoilt. Plague and perish. Will we steal medicines now? Remember the pardon, Thatch. We're to be subtle. Says Ornigold, a pirate, now too proud to call himself one. Now he prefers caution to cannons. Caution's nothing without charisma. Or if a man plays the fool, then it's only fools he'll persuade, but appear to be the devil. And all men will submit. And would you be the devil? Find a quiet way to acquire medicines. Tell me soon. Otherwise, I'll handle it myself. What the hell's happened here? Were you attacked? Other way round. It were Blackbeard who struck first. Opened fire on a British man of war, the pillock. What in God's name for? Still searching for medicines. But he's gone bar me if you ask me. I'll bring him home. Leave him, man. He's heaped this trouble on himself. Captain, there's a wreck yonder. Looks recent. I see it. Let's hope Thatch hasn't come to the same end. Another bit of wreckage, Captain. This is looking grim. Aye. Keep your eyes peeled. Still alive, Last. Captain. This is getting well out of hand. A dozen crates of medicine should not be so hard to come back. That ain't my meaning. It's Thatch and Hornigold and this pointless feud of theirs. Can't you feel it? I do, I. But both men have their hearts in a good place. Both want the best for the people of Nassau. But is that the best oh, course for us? Oh, Saving a city that ain't worth much. We're not men made to govern. We take and spend and live heartily wherever we go. What solution would you propose? The answer's in wealth and power, not politics. We found the observatory. We'd see enough money to buy the whole of England. Or it might be, we'd lord over these kings and emperors like they was passing for themselves. A lot of large talk, Captain. But is it your crew you sail for, or yourself? I mean the best for these men, Ade. I do. But this don't sit right. 
See that? It's her captain, the Queen Anne's Revenge. And she's in a bad way. No time for a vote. Thatch is outnumbered. The crew will understand. Beat the quarters, lads! We're sailing Thatch into hell! Thatch is overwhelmed. Going ashore. I'll keep the jack on circling. You stirred up a nest of trouble, Thatch. In service of a noble cause! Edison's, I hope you mean. Oh, the galleon nearby! And if we crack these lobsters quick, we might catch up to them! Hang in there, bonnet! Keep your arms up and your back to the sea! With all your boat burning, prepare you for a scuffle of this sort, Mr. Bonnet! Oh, for certain, there's more to be learned by doing than reading. Remember that! You don't do nothing, son. Do you, Thatch? Legends ain't born from mildness. Uh, gentlemen! Our galleon has reappeared! Heads up! Back to my ship, right as you please. She'll not slip away now. Oh, this is too much! I'll see you back to your jackdaw when the smoke is clear. But for now, I need a helmsman. I'm seeing the devil you promised, Thatch. Uh, I'd have shown them my angel if they'd taken quarter. But there's no going back now. So ram that bastard with all the wind you've got.
I'm not a man accustomed to murder, Captain. But if you'd taken quarter, you'd not be seeping now. Sack of muzzle, gobshite. You'll be hanged and sun-dried, just as them there were in Boston. The King's called for a pardon. <laughs> Captain, we've searched the hold. It's a middle intake. But the medicine we found bears a Charles Town stamp. Thank you, Mr. Hines. We cannot resupply Nassau out here by force and accident alone. We should go to Charlestown for the lot. Hello! Uh, are we victorious? I fear I am not built for the fatigue and care required to live as a man of fortune. Meet me in Charlestown. One month from today. Bonnet? Flying your own flag at last? Yes. Yes, Blackbeard cut me loose, sadly. Time to have a go at this myself. Well, that's grand. Yes, it's for the best, I think. I should have some wild stories when next we meet. Edward! Your constant friendship has been my most treasured find on these seas. Well above gold and silver and rum, I, I prize the courage you have inspired in me this year. Thank you, sir! A fair good borrow to you! complete disinterest in your well-being. Hostages for nonsense! These were my only terms. Yeah. Six days of pure fucking sight. So I must conclude that you men are the pariahs of Charlestown, and I would profit better by using your organs for chum and your bones for char. By Christ! This is my predicament. To kill you, or to press you into my service. It's a decision I'll make hardly, but not with remorse. Ahoy, oh, Edward. What the hell are you doing, man? All of Charleston can see this mess. It's the idea. Out of range, but well in sight. So where's the medicine? We sent a party ashore to barter with the governor. That were a week ago. 
No noise, sense. I'll handle it. Give me a day. There's movement up ahead. Is it soldiers? I am in something of a hurry. I propose we follow, else they spring something we ain't ready for. Trim two, catch the wind. What's your thinking? Blackbeard's been at this eight days already. So it's a good bet someone out there has prepared the medicines, just in case. Ah, but they're stalling, thinking up ways to avoid paying it out. Aye, so let's find where they've gathered and hope for the best. Sail, Captain. Speed will do us no favors here. Careful with the banks. We cannot pass them undetected, Captain. And there is no other way. There's always another way. All stop! See them, over there. Let us hope the river remains this wide. This ship's built for the open ocean, not stalking bikes. Come off the wind, someone. If we run aground here, we may never get out. Be sure they don't spy us trailing them. Loose the stunts. Clue up, short and safe. Steady as she goes, Captain. They're getting away, Captain. Then I'll have to go on without her. I'll be back with the medicines. Aye, sir. Your turn to yours, you devil is. I don't want to say. Aye, and wait get your next turn on a four hand of cards, as I recall. Right. Go on, dude. Come on, then. Captain's waiting. last ounce of vitality from us. I think it's true what they say about Blackbeard, that fire strikes out from his head. 
as if from some volcano. If he's not the devil himself, then surely he's made some pact with hell. Only be thankful his ship remains anchored and hasn't torn a path into the art of Charlestown. Bloody pirates. Someone ought to do something. They'll be hunted down eventually. Every last one of them. Who's that there? Two old gators come for their supper. Right, uh, me old mucker. Warm tonight, isn't it? We'll talk about our weather another time, mate. Bit of a hurry. <laughs> This blockade is going to go in land crazy, and this dirty puddle won't do. One would suppose all this was for gold, or rum at least. Nothing but medicines to cure whatever ailments fester aboard their vessels. Syphilis and scurvy, no doubt. What noxious coffins these pirate ships must be. Tonight. I could have sworn I saw something past the boat. No. Nope. Quiet night. Are you sure? I heard something in the water. Quiet till you showed up. Go on then. Captain's waiting. <laughs> Almost there. Good. Captain Wyatt is not a patient man. Raider yonder. The very same. Then speed along. You're expected. And you know how. Oh, Christ. It took him. It took him. I told you. Just row. For God's sake, row. I told you there was something. Didn't I tell you? Oh, God. Let's just get out of here. Thank Christ. I thought we'd never make it. I apologize. There was an accident. Private Simon. This, this crocodile. I don't care about your accidents. What's the word from the harbor, soldier? Speak. No change, sir. They're holding fast, but are yet to kill or maim any of the captives. Near as we can tell. Perhaps it's time to... To surrender? I've been entrusted with the affairs of the town, and I do not intend to bow to the demands of a pirate, no matter how fierce his reputation. Yes, sir. As long as the supply key is with me, no man shall touch that medicine. May plague and calamity strike them all. Bloody idiot. What? Pirates! The ship's here! Pirates! Fall back to the mansion! Save me! 
and flay all you devils! Blackbeard made you as good an offer as ever a man got from any pirate. You might curse his methods, but medicine was all he wanted. And now you'll get it. You should have bartered, mate. He has returned, Captain! What's the take? Two crates. And the means for mixing additional doses. Uh, that's right thinking. Precious little of that these days. You hear that, Mr. Rax? My young friend returns with offerings and so saves your scrawny neck. Will you not thank him? You should quit these waters, Thatch. The governor, he's bound to muster more soldiers. You go on ahead, huh? I got some business in the north. You're done, aren't you? Giving up on us. On NASA. Look, lad. I'm late into my fourth decade on this earth. And if I don't find some means to make the fifth quiet and cozy voyage, I'd rather sink to the devil's doorstep than call myself captain. Another year. We'll meet again, lad. In this world. Or the one below. Over here. Are you ready? He's waiting for us. I just watched some of your footage from this week. It's amazing. Blackbeard was mental. And we all got so excited that we started talking about this idea for a trailer about him. Maybe start with him drinking, talking to some pirates, telling a story. Then, we cut to him leaping across the deck of his boat and, sorry, his ship, not boat, but jumping around the deck of his ship, swinging from ropes and fighting like a devil. I mean, obviously, we're gonna have to manipulate some of the existing footage to get it looking good, but it could be great. I'm getting a shiver in my timbers just thinking about it. <laughs> sorry. Bonjour, ça va? I hope we're not late. No, you can go right... Hi, Melanie, I saw you just walked in. I need a few minutes with you alone. Leticia is on the phone and we're discussing the Kenway project. Oh, yes, of course. Sorry about this. I'll call you when we're ready. Shouldn't be long. Hello? Hello? Do you have a second? Of course you do. Head to the waypoint on your map. I have another job for you. I'd like to link all the cameras in the building to a central monitoring system, but most aren't calibrated correctly. Another locked door. Not a problem. Voila! You now have level two security clearance. Not bad for your... I'll update your communicator. Security measure. It looks like you need to find the right combination of numbers to adjust the wave. Easy enough, right? Pick a number selector, then change its value. Once you find the right combination of numbers, you should get access. Ah, oh, this is an interesting security measure. It looks like you need to find the right combination of numbers to adjust the wave. Easy enough, right? Pick a number selector, then change its value. 
Once you find the right combination of numbers, you should get access. right now to do two times the research. Finding that balance is your priority. Your entertainment products are simply a means to pay the bills for larger and more important work. That's the way the world works. Hmm? Dirty money buys clean hospitals. You get it? We're on board, Letitia. Rest assured. We have our best employee working on this, but it will take time. That means you. Good. And thank you. The both of you. I look forward to seeing what you deliver. Until then, I'll see you at the shareholders meeting, Olivier. Looking forward to it. Bye-bye. Tabarnak! It's a little too early for that kind of abuse, huh? Come on. So, what's next? We do as the lady says. Focus on the observatory. Assassins, Templars, crazy talk. I'm curious about this shareholders meeting, though. How about you break into Olivier's office and see if you can find his schedule? Oh, what? You don't like that idea? Well, how about I blow the fucking whistle on you, hacker? I own you! <laughs> what I mean is, I don't want to ruin your life. So, do as I say. Now, step over to the window. You can't waltz into Olivier's office through the front door, so I've opened another route. Up we go. Did he know that Abstergo was run by Templars? Oh, yeah. Sounds like crackpot stuff, I know, but then again, the moon landing was fake, right? So, anything's possible. All right, either you walk through that door or throw yourself off the terrace. Those are your options. Oh, well done, kiddo. Find his computer, make it snappy. We're looking for the shareholders' meeting schedule. It's worth a lot of money to us. Be careful now. As the data moves, there are security programs constantly monitoring the data flow. You need to sneak past them, or they will destroy your data and send it back home.
sneaky bastard. A pirate through and through, ain't you? Now, get down to the lobby. There's a courier waiting. Yeah, that's right. I've been planning this for a few hours. Now, wait. The receptionist. Hold on. I'll try something. As gullible as ever. Now, hurry down to the lobby before I remotely detonate your earpiece. <laughs> Don't even think about ratting me out. My tracks are covered. Yours ain't. Did you, uh, like the allonge? I practiced. I think you pulled it a little too long. Oh, come on! It's not encrypted code, for God's sakes. It's just a bloody coffee. Oh, hooray! It's our old friend. Hey there. I just got a call about picking up another transfer. Oh, You said you were here to see me. Yes, that is one of the perks. Let's see it. Hmm. A conference in Chicago. Very nice. Thanks for this. We'll be in touch. Ciao, Rebecca. Text me. Stuff it, Hastings. Well done, friend. Very well done. Apologies for my temper tantrum there. You are with the good guys, I promise. We'll keep you safe. Trust me. Go on back to work. We'll be in touch. First time I did this for more than an hour. I've an awful feeling about this. You'll be hurt out there. I couldn't handle that. I'll be careful, I promise. And when I'm flush with coin and set up, I'll send for you. I will. I can't promise I'll come, Edward. If you leave on this fool's errand, I, I cannot promise anything. Don't give up on me, Caroline. Not when I need your faith the most. Putting some shape to your sentiments? Just a short letter home. I reckon she's past caring anyway. Oh, you're a hard heart that should be softer. Or soft in parts that should be hard. <laughs> and how is it you're so keen for his hard parts, Mr. Rackham? like to know my secrets, would you? Oh, aye. Give me a small hint, like. Or a large one, if you're an upright gentleman. Open your hand. Oh! Who's shooting? Might be them ships sliding into port. Jesus. Someone's eye goes poop. Well, I'll be hanged. And George has grown tired of our shenanigans. Who's the grim fella? That's Captain Woods Rogers. Not a man I want seeing my face. 
We desire a parley with the men who call themselves governors of this island. Charles Vane, Ben Hornigold, and Ed Thatch. Come forth, if you please. Hear about the King's pardon, I reckon. What the hell is Hornigold doing? <sighs> lily livered punk! What are you men up to? I am grateful for your geniality, Captain Hornigold. I assumed our reception would be a troubled one. Don't mistake my decorum for deference, Governor. I'm eager to hear what you have to say, but of uncertain mind otherwise. Very well put. And it's a fairer shake than I expected to see from any pirate. But I promise fair treatment to all who hear me out. Only wait a while longer, Governor Rogers. These rascals will show their true colors in time. Calm, Commodore Chamberlain. I have given Captain Hornigold my word that he will be equitable. Won't do you a look of good. Men like him are a blight on His Majesty's reputation and a peculiar cancer afflicting the new world. The King wants them eradicated above all else. Is this the town square? As close to one as we've ever had. Incredible. It's no cleaner than a dark oh! kennel. Captain Hornigold, please call your men. Rackham, Vane! The governor's come calling. Bring Burgess and Cochrane as well. Ban out, lads! And take this shanty town as if it were your own! The king has been particularly ineffective in bringing about this change, hasn't he? And has failed at all attempts until now. Careful how you talk about his majesty, governor. You're here at his pleasure. I have my methods, Commodore, and I expect you to honor them to the letter. A lot of you. Make way for the king's emissaries. Out of the way, you bastards. Go on. Our only aim here is to treat with the masters of this community. All others are encouraged to go about their usual business. Go on, move. Go. Commodore Chamberlain, please see that all merchants, masons, and carpenters are rounded up and brought to me this afternoon. We must see about repairing this fortress. We should be confiscating weapons, Governor. Send these pirates a clear, strong message that the King's emissaries are not to be trifled with. I have no wish to stir up animosity here, Commodore. And though well armed, we are outnumbered by a decent margin. Slow persuasion is our best and most efficient weapon. Twaddle, Governor! We should sink every goddamn ship not flying the King's colors. To do otherwise protects a certain weakness in our bearing. Silence, Commodore! I am the goddamn governor here, serving at the King's pleasure, and I will make the bloody decision. Is that clear? Aye, sir. Your wishes are clear as crystal. Commodore, we're in position. Governor Rogers believes he can make men of these monkeys yet. I do not. Return to your post and await my orders.
shall hereby promise and declare that in case any of the said pirates shall on or before the 5th of September, in the year of our Lord 1718, surrender him or themselves to any one of the principal secretaries of state in Great Britain or Ireland, or to any governor or deputy governor of any of our plantations beyond the sea, every such pirate and any pirate shall surrender him or themselves as a forced shall have our gracious pardon of and for such his or their piracy or pirate his. By him or them committed before the 5th of January next century, and we do hereby strictly charge and command all our admirals, captains, other officers as and all our governors and commanders of any fort, castle, or other places in our plantations, and all our officers, civil and military, to seize and take such of the pirates who shall refuse or neglect to surrender themselves accordingly. Old mine. I pray you take the prudent course, gentlemen, and accept the king's pardon as soon as your hearts allow. For until such time, all of you will be confined in Nassau. 
I am sorry for this. But in lieu of a public trial, this pardon is your best bet. The governor puts it far too brightly, maggots. Take this message home. Accept the king's protection forthwith, or we will raise this town to its foundation and stretch your bloody necks. Peace! Commodore Chamberlain, we are messengers, not executioners. Not yet. Oh, thank you, sir. God save you. Look on this as a stroke of fortune, lads. We should take the king's pardon and salvage what dignity we Peace. own. I'll be hanged before I surrender to that bobbin. Check your head, Vane. We had here a rare opportunity, a chance to take something base and shape it into a government made and maintained by men of vision. But in two years, we pissed it away. I won't make that mistake again. It's truth he's telling, and you whelps can't handle it. A Jew, you forecastle headed fuddlers. See you at the gallows. You'll all be dead, men! Bastards! I need a drink. Times I put up with Horny Gold and his self righteous shite. Verily, you are a man of principle, Captain Horny Gold. A man I believe I can trust with my best ideas. Faith, and we'll survive this, Charles, with our pride intact. Well, that's confidence. If you brewed a plan, I might get a taste of. NASA is over, that's plain to see. I say we skip out tonight and regroup at my compound. Fair enough, what's your angle? The Brits have brought their supplies ashore, see? If we nick some gunpowder and pine pitch, we can build a fire ship and send it straight at the blockade, blasting it to smithereens. Aye. We'll use Rackham's ship. You ain't a capable captain. My conscience is clear. Right. When you get the gunpowder, I'll secure the pine pitch.
Maybe told me out that village about five or six years ago, as I recall. Cursed luck. He's always done right by me. Good Dobbins at fair prices. Known him for over ten years and not a single complaint. We'll be meeting them at the arms in an hour or so. <laughs>
Someone's muscled the alarm. We lost a filthy prat. next week. Come on, boys, you're lagging. It's this bloody hemp. Lieutenant. Shh. Aye, sir. The Commodore fears a revolt is nigh. His orders are to sink every goddamn pirate ship now anchored in that harbor tonight. It's about the governor's wishes, sir. This is a direct order, soldier. You will take position on the grounded galleon and await the Commodore's further orders. Is that clear? Aye, sir. The conniving bastard. Someone ought to slit the Commodore's throat before he gets a chance to bark those orders. You think so? We're dead in the water otherwise. All right, I'll kill him. Your brains are baked. I won't take no part in killing the Commodore. Not one of the King's men. Well, we can't risk our good fortune. I'll be waiting for you. Sir! 
We have information for the Commodore, an urgent matter. Carry on. Oh, lots of sour blood between them two, Rogers and Chamberlain. What's the issue? The Commodore don't think much of civilians there. And there's a rumor going around that Rogers is some kind of Jacobite, or worse, that he's a Catholic. Oh, I could think of worse. Got on those two men there. You! Halt! Commodore ranting and raving about Woods Rogers, calling him a heathen and whatnot. What's happened to set them two off? Bush, man. You don't want the governor's ire brought down on you. He's a mysterious sort. Well, I'm much more afraid of the Commodore, in truth. He's a serious chap. No sense of humor.
Ready to loose the top souls on my signal. The governor's given us a pardon, Commodore. Don't a man's word mean anything in these times? A syphilis clouded your mind. Why scratch and claw to protect such squalor? Your parasites feeding off the industry of honest men. Much like King George in that respect. Know your place, peasant! You may have taken my life, but you have not improved your own by any measure. Does some purpose keep you talking? If not for that heathen, Governor Rogers, I'd have seen you hanged from your own cross trees. Worm. All of you. Fair, good day.
Commodore's dead. Are we ready? We're close. We've got a problem with the galleon. There's a couple of dozen. Bloody hell. You'd raise a cloud here, lout. You sat on enough gunpowder to blow New Providence off its rocks. Lay off me, mate. I'm, I'm well chafed. As I was telling, a squad of lobsters has commandeered our galleon. We're going to have to clear it out before we use them cannons to blow the brocade. Captain, keep it afloat. Careful, Captain! His waters are closely watched by our enemies. The Brits are on to us. Look there! Beat the quarters! Fire! Weakest 
right there, Kevin! Fire! Ready to fire! Fire! Sir. Look, Kevin! Put a shot right fire. there! She blows the hope like a you. snow wind. Yeah! Batten yourself. <laughs> a mighty mess there. <laughs> Burn your bastards. Yeah! The burden of your ass, governor. Prancing about like they took a prize. Kid. You missed quite a time. Aye. Pity about Nassau and Blackbeard flying the coop. Well, we'll see about Thatch. The vein's off to see him now, and I'm following soon. This is what's left of your experiment in democracy. Aye. We do as we please here, and we take our time doing it. For Christ's sake, Edward. Don't anything but the stink of riches wrinkle your nose. What's got into you, man? Reality, mate. Reality. See that you ain't pulled into the drink by this drowning rat. Oi! I've lived longer than most men who trod this path.
Captain, do you have a moment? I'll be needing coin to set up the shipyard, Captain. The faster we have the needful gold, the sooner our ships will rule the waves. What do you be needing today, then? Of business, that. Oh.
Run for all mates. Let's move. Close down. Man your sheets. Set the course due north, lads. We're off to find Captain Thatch! Disappointment you are, Thatch. His mind's made up to stay, he says. It's a sodding. And hang all of you lot that follow this sorry bastard into obscurity. Faith in me is kind. Now with Nassau done in, I feel I'm finished. I'm not of the same mind, mate. But I won't begrudge you the state of yours. You still looking for that sage fellow? Aye. Taking a prize a month back, I heard a man named Roberts was working a slave ship called the Princess. I don't want to say about it. The princess. Cheers, Thatch. Well, don't sit there like a barrel of wet fish. We're celebrating my retirement! <laughs> On court this man's breakfast! Out. Save us a few bottles, eh? Thing that moves. There was a deserter among them who recall my face. I slice into his gullet for any word left his lips. Anybody see you? Don't think so, sir. But I reckon Kenway suspects something. 
He don't miss much. Tell me about the beach. A fair gathering, sir. Most too drunk to stand. That will suit our purpose. What sort of man is it? It's... It's Thatch, sir. At least that's what he calls himself. But he's a mad bugger, he is. Cracked as a glass teapot, sir. Details, man. Stop talking in gibberish. Well, sir, he likes his drink for it. Only he makes them queer. Takes the usual rough split and fills it with half a weight of gunpowder to top it off. Did I hear you were right? He drinks gunpowder? Aye, sir. Just for show. And only last week, he rounded up a score of his crew and bade us sit in the old of his ship while he burnt off sulfur and other sickening minerals. We just sat there like it was one of a million pits of hell and nothing less ordinary. Good God! What the hell for? Like to test his crew is all. Tease out their fitness and what. Of course, it always turned out he was the fittest of the lot. Thought for a moment I'd die there. Bloody savages. Have no fear, soldier. This will be the end of them. Come on. It's time. Quickly, send the signal. And remember always. What the devil? Can you fight? 
Stay free, lad! Can you make it clear? Here's the path to perdition! Fat, sir. Did he fall? Captain? He drinks damnation. has been shot. Oxay. He was outnumbered. I couldn't reach him. Devil damn the man he was faced, but his heart was divided. It's hard to let go of the life you know best. Uh, my only dear father liked to brag about he meant to purchase a ship of his own. I'll get a privateering contract, Charlie. Your old dad'll be a captain. Drowned in a whiskey bottle before he ever left show. Right, Kenway. I've been musing on this plan of yours. This observatory you're always going on about. How do we know it exists? We find a slave ship called the Princess. Aboard to be a man called Roberts. He can lead us to it. Well, then slave is work for the Royal African Company. Find one of their ships and start asking some questions. Mains out! Let's go! What's our course, Captain? We're looking for slave ships. Any that work for the Royal African Company. You don't mean to traffic human cargo now, do you? No, Jesus, Adam. You know me better than that. We're only after information. Looking to find where the princess docks in her spare time. The princess? The slave ship. Right. Blackbeard told me there's a good chance we'd find the sage aboard. A merchant schooner. Damn! Can't that animal stay the course we agreed to? Hold back, ahoy! Some fresh 
meet there if you can strike it, sir. We must be getting close, Captain. Don't sink that slaver ship, can we? There's hundreds of innocent men aboard. I know. I know. She's spooked, Captain! The slaver ship is running! Damn fool! I'll get us in close. Give the order, sir! Fire! Fire! Ready to fire, sir! Fire! Damn that Captain Bin! He's unloading everything he has. He'll sink it if he's not careful. We'll get closer. Over, find the captain. Come on, me, You're scurvy back in brains. Guns and steel aren't so louder than sticks and spittles. I've more than enough of all that. Just find the captain.
captain claims the princess sails out of Kingston every few months. Right. What's that cost? Yo, made ash of my sails and rigging jackanapes. You owe me a share. Oh! Oh, damn it, Vane! Oh, Charles, what a surly devil you are. Don't fuck with me, Jack. Oh, but it's my mandate to fuck with you, Charles. Oh. Lads! Ah, see, oh. the boys and I had a bit of counsel while you were wasting time with this slot, and, um, well, they figured I'd be a fitter captain than you reckless dogs. I'll cut you another cut, Tricer! <laughs> this one I figure I might sell for a tenner down in Kingston, but uh, with you two grog blossoms, I can't take any chances. You regret this day, Rackham. I regret most of them already. Tie them up! Cast them off. I'll cut you, Jack Rackham! I'll open you up! I'll tear out your organs and string your bloody loot with them! Stop your goddamn howling, vein! There's no bloody use! Oh, well, well! The face of a good Kenway speaks, eh? Pray tell us, Captain, how to quit this predicament. And tell us what genius you have for sailing a boat with no sails and no rudder. Shut your gob! I'll take these oysters you've ordered. You mad sap. This island's crawling with food. If only you'd care to look for it. Yeah, I am looking, louts. Found some just here. <laughs> don't! Don't come following now. Do you hear me? Don't come looking for me. Ratchet fool. with the fishermen and their dories, Kenway! This island's mine! Come at me and I'll cap you, bastard! It was your bloody imagination that landed us here, Kenway! I'll be damned if I let that mine make one more decision for me! Will you not talk to me, Vane? Are you fixed on this madness? Madness? <laughs> Nothing mad about a man fighting to survive, is there? I mean you no harm, you corker! Now, let's work this out like gentlemen. Oh, God! I've got a bleeding headache on account of your jabbering! Now, stay back and let me live in peace! I would if you stopped the... Vane! Face me, man!
I said not to follow! Jesus, you've lost your head, man! It's a fair exchange for finding these flintlocks and grenados. Listen, Vane. We can hunt with those guns. <laughs> and I mean to! Into this match, can't wait. And I'll be damned if I let you drag me into another. You keep this up, and I'll have to kill you, Vane. Bloody try, by all means. It's either you or me who's leaving this island alive, Welcher! Because I'm not going to sail again in a world cursed by your ugly bug! Boy, you only done half a fucking job. Fucking hell. Is this my reward for believing the best about men? For thinking that a bilge rat like you could muster up some fucking sense once in a while? Maybe Horner Gold was right. Maybe the world does need men of ambition to stop the likes of you from mucking it all up. <laughs> or maybe. You just don't have the stones to live with no regrets. <laughs> don't save me a spot in hell, Shanka. I ain't coming soon.
stealing a fishing schooner single-handed. Damn canny, Captain. As is taking back my break from this pillock. Once again, I thank you both. This Billy Huff didn't last two months with your ship before he came limping back to Nassau. Took the pardon straight away. I had to, lads. That Rogers was on to me from the first. Hold your tongue, Rackham. So what now? Still chasing your elusive fortune? Aye, and I'm close. I've heard the sage is sailing out of Kingston on a ship called the Princess. Put your ambition to better use, Kenway. Find the sage with us. I've no stomach for you and your mystics, Mary. I want a taste of the good life. An easy life. No one honest has an easy life, Edward. And it's aching for one that causes the most pain. All right, Rackham. Back to retirement. What are you be needing today, then? My thanks for your trust. What news are they? This Bajan works for the Royal African Company. Tell him what you told me. I haven't seen the princess for eight weeks or more. Meaning she may soon be back. What else? I thought this buck belonged to the other men who was asking about the princess this morning. So I told him that... What other men? Haughty sailor in plain rags. And a gent with a scar just here. Where have they got to? Staying just round the corner, they said. grow tired of chasing these fantasies of yours, Edward. As does the crew. Hang in there, man. We're getting close.
Have you alerted the men? We're short on time. Aye. There will be two soldiers waiting for us at the crossroads. Very good. If you don't mind me asking, sir, what's the meaning behind these bloods? How do you mean, sir? If one wishes to use the observatory to, say, spy on King George, then one would require a drop of the King's blood to do so. In other words, a small sample of blood gives us access to a man's everyday life. Does Torres mean to spy on me, then? For I've just given him a sample of my blood. As have I, Captain Hornigold, as will all Templars. It is a measure of insurance. And trust, I reckon. Yes, but fear not. Torres has shipped our samples to a Templar safe house in Rio de Janeiro. We will not be the observatory's first subjects, I assure you. Aye, sir. 
I suppose it's a small price to pay for what the Templars have given me in return. Precisely. Governor, when you hunted pirates in Madagascar, what methods worked best? I believe it was my charisma that persuaded them. Violence and threats should always be a last resort. In Madagascar, I offered those pirates a choice. Take a pardon and return to England penniless but free men, or be hanged by the neck until dead. Just as you did in Nassau. Precisely. A pity Commodore Chamberlain did not live to see my thorough success. <laughs> it's not like you to glow, Rogers. We all deserve a moment, don't we? Grandmaster, welcome. Buenas noches. What have you learned? The princess was taken by pirates six weeks ago. And so far as we know, the sage Roberts was still aboard. Very good. It is something, no? And what measures are we taking to recover the princess from these pirates? Captain Hornigold has dispatched some of his best men to ensure the sage's capture. What of the sage's present location? Do we know? Africa, Your Excellency. Africa? By God. The winds do not favor that one. I concur, Grandmaster. I should have sailed there myself. One of my slave galleys would be more than capable of making a swift journey. Slave galley? Captain, I ask you to divest yourself of that sea institution. I fail to see the difference between enslaving some men and all men. Our aim is to steer the entire course of civilization, is it not? A body enslaved inspires the mind to revolt. But, enslave a man's mind, and his body will follow on. Natural, efficient. A fair point, Grandmaster. Remind me, where in Africa are we looking? Principe, sir, a small island, 
We've sent two of our best men, Burgess and Cochrane. Privateers with fast ships and firm hearts. Edward Kenway! Imagine my surprise at seeing your jackdaw anchored there. Have you heard all you came to hear? Will you now rescue the sage from our clutching hands? A pox on you, traitor! You sold us down river. Because I found a better path. The Templars know order, discipline, structure. But you never could fathom these subtleties. Goodbye, old friend. You were a soldier once, when you fought for something real. Something beyond yourself. Bridge Bay, Quartermaster. The sailing to the coast of Africa. Thank <laughs> you. 
Those shrouds, Ground on every inch of sail! Loose tops and royal! Larry, come on! Sir! There's loot floating here! Find Roberts. Don't stay long. The crew's getting restless. Out there. Captain Kenway. Yet another dire situation, Roberts. We really must stop meeting like this. Stop tailing me and your wish had come true. There's no need for this. You know I'm as good as my word. Our Captain Howell was killed today in a Portuguese ambush. Ed strong fool. I warned him not to go ashore. It was orchestrated by the Templars, Burgess and Cockrum. The same sort that took you to Havana. Ah. I see now there is no escaping the Templar's attention, is there? I suppose it is time to fight back. I do like the sound of that. And I know just how I'll do it. But these men, Burgess and Cockrum, they cannot be allowed to leave with word of my escape. They won't. Count on it. If you spot any men from my crew, do them some kindness and send them here. I'll do all I can.
направление.
Só quero falar contigo. Ei, só quero falar contigo. Ei, só quero falar contigo. Muscle in that fossil, or we're leaving you behind. yourselves and haul your asses to port. We're we'll weighing anchor. Up with your mongrel. Done us good, Kenway. Proved yourself a true bravo. And for what? His own bloody pride. You stepped in the path of my prize. Not a thing a man should do. <laughs> a cocksure, Cully. Just like Hornigold said. That Templar scab means nothing to me. None of you do. And you're worse for it, Kenway. It were the tempers who took us in when all else went to shit. Not our king. Not our country. The Templars. The Templars is our family. Where's yours? In honest service, there are thin comms, no wages, Yet, as gentlemen of fortune, we enjoy plenty and satisfaction, pleasure and ease, liberty and power. So what man with a sensible mind would choose the former life, when the only hazard we pirates run is a sour look from those without strength or splendor? Ha. Now, I have been among you six weeks, and in that time, I have adopted your outlook as my own. And with so fierce a conviction that it may frighten you to see your passions reflected from me in so stark a light. 
but if it's a captain you see in me now, I then I'll be your bloody captain. Yeah! For I have dipped my hands in muddied waters, and withdrawing them, find it better to be a commander than a common man. You fatten me, sisters. I'm looking for the observatory. Folks say you're the only man that can find it. Folks are correct. Despite my distaste for your eagerness, I see in you a touch of untested genius. I'm Bartholomew Roberts. Edward. I have no secrets to share with you now. But if you'll lend me your aid, in two months' time west of the Leeward Islands, well, it's there you'll get some answers, I promise you. Funny that. With scurvy, the fix is more pleasant than the cause. When you catch a dose from a horn, must treat it with quicksilver. You're fonder of getting the disease than you are of curing it. Something biting at you. Oh, all men desire to live by a code or a creed, yes? Yet when pressed, most defer to their instincts rather than the laws that bind them. What is the appeal of a creed if it does not yoke all men to like behavior? Might make a man feel like he belongs to something. What's your answer? Ah, oh, that all men are sheep. And that an old wolf like me deserves every ounce of blood he draws. Sail to this location. Bring only those you trust. Captain Kenway, shall we use your ship for this next scheme or mine? At first, hear the details before deciding. Oh, it's a small gambit. This fount of information has just told me that a nearby galleon contains the treasure I seek. For his sake, I hope he's right. You've thought this plan through? Indeed. Using this man will acquire a Portuguese flag, which will get us as close to our target as possible. It's a very simple idea, if you follow my orders to the letter. The jackdaw, then. Excellent. We're underway, Roberts. So what's your plan? The flagship of this fleet is transporting a valuable treasure in a large chest. Crystal files filled with blood. You may remember. We're chasing drams of blood. Is that all? I asked you to follow my instructions to the lector, Captain. But I did not give you leave to question why. I want those blood files intact. And if that does not happen, we part as enemies. Do you understand? I'll try to, I. Right? Come off the wind, someone. There's the thing for us, Captain. You see that ship here? We'll need its flag for this ruse to work. If I can steal that flag without disturbing so much as a flea, I'll do it. 
by all means try. Que Deus o guarde e proteja, senhor. Como se encontra nesta noite tão formosa? Sim, senhor. Tudo em ordem, senhor. Estamos apenas à espera que o nosso navio almirante seja reabastecido antes de zarpar. Ah! E julgo que um dos nossos navios mercantes da nossa frota necessita de um novo mastro. Há homens em terra neste momento em busca de uma arte que sirva de tal propósito. Vem embarcadores de frente do Então, quantos tugas serão? Compõem a maior parte da nossa frota, senhor. Dos nossos 42 navios, diria que mais de dois terços são embarcações mercantis. Ah, um número considerável. Nesse caso, não devido que estejam de fora, sai dos piratas. Não! Sim, senhor, exatamente! Foi um prazer falar consigo, jovem. Entregue os meus cumprimentos ao seu capitão. Certo, senhor! Ele de momento está a dormir. Vai lamentar. Vai falar consigo. É uma pena. Até à próxima. E que Deus nos abençoe. Got the flag. Aye, and we're flying it now. This should do nicely. Lose the main. I'll keep my distance. Slow and steady. Aye. The flag we stole won't protect us from eyes that pry too long. Clue up. For favor, senhor. Implore que considere que está prestes a fazer. Now a possible. What's he whinging about? He's not whinging. He's a static. <laughs> something from that ship could that be our prize perhaps you should go ashore captain kenway find that chest it contains the prize i see we'll tell this lot where a ship right to be they'll not come near them on the board we're going to talk to the captain of the navy que veio visitar o nosso almirante. Cá para mim, era uma traição. Sim, ouvi dizer que se chamava Torres. Tempos estranhos estes, em que um espanhol pode andar a passear pelo convés de um dos nossos vasos de guerra. Não, não. 
espada. The chest they hauled ashore was full of empty vials. Where's our Portuguese captain? He had outlived his usefulness. Where is he? Sleeping soundly at the bottom of the sea. How many men must we kill for a simple prize? As many as drift into our path. Treasure must be aboard that galleon. Why don't you take the ship itself and save us a bit of time? Aye, that's the way I'd play it. I can bring the jackdaw close up, but those lookouts will be a problem. Well spotted. I'll clear them off first. Aqueles piratas britânicos em Nassau. O Jorge enviou um dos seus homens para os tirar de lá. E parece que ele fez um bom trabalho.
morto. Esta é uma bela noite. E têm sido raras este mês. Está a fazer o tour nesta noite? Ou foste tu ontem? Perdeu. Estou a perder a conta aos dias. Spotted. Took them long enough. To court us all, man the cannons. Every last hand. On your command, Captain. Let's hear the roar of this beast. Mains out, let's go. Here's my prize. Ah, the Templars have been busy, I see. Lawrence Prince's blood. Useless now. Woods Rogers, Ben Hornigold, even Torres himself. 
Small quantities kept for a special purpose. You must take me to the observatory, Roberts. I need to know what it is. To what end, eh? Will you sell it from under my nose? Or work with me and use it to bolster our game? Whatever improves my lot in life. How ridiculous. A merry life and a short one, that's my motto. It's all the optimism I can muster. All right, Captain Kenway. You've earned a look. Feel it, Addy. We're moments away from the grandest prize of all. I feel nothing but a hot wind in my ears, Captain. Come on, man. When we take this treasure, we'll be set for life, all of us. Ten times over. As you wish. Ahoy, Roberts. We'll cast anchor and meet ashore. You were followed, Captain Kenway. How long for, I wonder? It's Hornigold! Burn and flay that turncoat. Deal with your old friend in haste, Captain, before I regret my favor to you. Captain, think carefully about what you mean to do here. What are you grousing about, Ade? It's Ben Hornigold, come to kill us out there. Ah, and the traitor needs to die. But what then? Can you say with certainty? And you deserve the observatory more than he and his Templars? No, I can't, and I don't care to try. But if you've a better idea, by all means, tell me. Forget working with Roberts. Tell the assassins. Bring them here, and let them protect this place. Aye, I'll bring them here. If they're willing to pay me a good sum for it. Uh. We'll have a hard fight if Hornigal draws us any deeper into this fog. We're nearing the Devil's Backbone. You mean them crags that look like the backbone of a beast? Aye. El Espinazo del Diablo, Spaniels call it. Creep the tossers and gallants! Clues now! Tag some wind! Loose all! Party like! Cannot be far now. Ease off the wind! And fall, mates! Let's move! Stunsels! Let's ride this squall! Someone blowing in! Frigates! We're clear, Royal Captain! Royal bloody navy! They're all alone, sir! Let's get moving! Four mass gallantry! Fallen in! Get off the wind! 
Toss them in! Muzzle them! Concentrate on the task at hand, sir! Loose and swim too! Grind it to Charons, the rail and blow it to Use the ten shots with the Fire! Fire! Fire, sir! Who pulled the 
Can you do this better? The heart of the truth is all that's holding the seat. Do the job done for me. will be coming back. Hold that.
I know this bastard, and I've seen what he can do. He'll be after me. Oh. You could have been a man who stood for something. But you've a killer's heart now. With nothing but metal to show for all your blunders. A damn sight better than you, Ben. The heart of a traitor who thinks himself better than his mates. Aye, and proven true. What have you done since Nassau fell, huh? Nothing but murder and mayhem. You threw in with the very kind we once hated! No! These Templars are different. I wish you could see that. But if you continue on your present course, you'll find you're the only one walking it. With the gallows. And it's end. It may be. But now the world has one less snake in it. And that's enough for me. Is that pirate hunter dead? Aye, by my own hand. Why is it you alone can find what so many want? I was born with memories of this place. Memories of another time entirely, I think. Like a... Like another life I've already led. Curse you for a lurch, man, and speak some sense. Not today. After you, Captain. The path ahead is dangerous. Native to this land will put up a fight. Are you willing to push back if necessary? Huh? The kill is needed.
ride this one. This way.
this the observatory? All this? Aye. An almost sacred place. All it needs is a drop of my blood. Roberts, have you gone mad? Quite the contrary, Edward. These wags would have gone mad at seeing what lies beyond this gate. But you... Uh, I suspect you're made of sterner stuff. Now, pick up that chest and carry it hither. Dirty and decrepit. Not quite as I remember, but it has been over 80 millennia. Ah, rot. That's impossible. Step as if on thin ice, Captain. I must say I'm quite taken by this new vocation of mine. And it may amuse you to know that I have authored my own articles of conduct. A creed of your own, eh? To keep the peace, yes. I forbid all gambling upon the deck, for instance, for it leads to more conflict than camaraderie. Desertion during battle is forbidden. And I require that all men keep their pieces and cutlasses clean and fit for service at all times. Sensible. And punishable by death if disobeyed. Look at this place. Beautiful, isn't it? Aye. It's like something out of a fairy tale. Or one of them old poems. There were many stories about this place once. Tales that turned into rumors and again into legend. The inevitable process of facts becoming fictions before fading away entirely. More blood vials? Yes. These cubes contain the blood of an old and ancient people. A wonderful race in their time. The more you talk, man, the less I understand. I don't expect you to. Only remember this. The blood in those files is not worth a single real to anyone anymore. It may be again one day, but not in this epoch. Here we are. What's that noise? Ah, oh, yes. A security measure. Just a moment. There we are. So what is this place? Think of it as a large spyglass, such as we sailors carry. A device. Capable of seeing great distances. This is bloody witchcraft. No. This is Mr. Jack Rackham. Somewhere in the world at this moment. NASA. Well, this is happening right now. We're seeing through his eyes. I. I don't know, Jim. I haven't the faintest idea how to pilot a ship. That ain't work a woman does. Tosh. I've seen a score of ladies who can reef a sail and spin a capstan. And would you teach me to fight? With a cock glass, like? And maybe handle a pistol? All that and more. But you have to want it, and work for it. There's no stumbling into true success. Oi! Lad! That's my lass you're making love to! You lay off, or I has ya. Up your ass, Rackham. That's the last thing you should be calling me. Oh! Oh! Oh, is that right, is it? Lad? A curious bunch. Let's try another. Governor Woods Rogers.
You have a bold idea, but I must think it carefully through. A simple pledge of loyalty is all you need suggest to the House of Commons. An oath, a gesture, and a simple ceremonial drum of blood taken from the finger. That's all. The ministers may give me trouble, but it should be easy enough to convince the House of Lords. They do adore an excess of pomp and circumstance. Exactly. Tell them it's a show of fealty to the king against those revolting Jacobites. Yes, indeed. Oh, these Templars. The crucial detail is the blood. You must get a sample from each man. We want to be ready when we find the observatory. Agreed. A precious tool, you see. Sorcery, that's what it is. Not so! Every mechanism that gives this device its light is a true and physical thing. Ancient, yes, but nothing supernatural or strange. We'll be masters of the ocean with that. Oh, such ambition. <laughs> There is nothing in my code about loyalty, boy. You played your role, but our partnership is done. You're a dead man, Roberts. Jackdaw's flown, Edward. Eh? That's the beauty of a democracy. The many outvote the one. Oh, you could sail with me, but with a temper as hot as yours, I fear you'd burn us all to cinders. Luckily, I know the king's bounty on your head is a large one, and I intend to collect. Have you, uh, have you ever seen the inside of a Jamaican prison, boy?
Hello? How are you? If you're anxious, that'll pass. It's the Medazolum. I'm sorry about this, but we've had so many security breaches, we were forced to take drastic action. And... Olivier is missing. He left for Chicago two days ago, but no one's seen him since. I know this seems excessive, but with our high-level security clearance, we have an obligation to our shareholders. Rest assured, we will compensate you when the hacker is found. So get some rest, okay? And if you're up to it, maybe capture some more footage? You're doing amazing work. I can't wait to show you the work we've been doing with your stuff. Take care. <laughs> so, they tossed you in the bunker. Nice. Those Templars upstairs aren't taking any chances. I think we need to erase all the dirt they might have on you. Did you hear that? <laughs> I think I just gave you level 3 security clearance! Now, head to the security room and use the cameras to watch the door to the server farm. Unfortunately, Melanie's in there now, so when I escort her out, that's when you make your move. I'd wipe these servers myself. All right, listen, I'm entering the server room now. When you see us leave, get in there. Myself, Miss LeMay. My team will handle the investigation. But you need an extra set of eyes on this thing, John. We don't even know when the hacker's broken. It could take weeks to go through this data. One, at most. Still too long. I can't keep my team locked up for a week. Legally, you can. It's what they signed up for, even if they didn't read their contracts. Yes, of course. I just hate the idea. So what's the next step? My team is processing the data now. We'll start sifting through it tonight. Scout's honor. Coffee's on me, okay? All right. I ditched her at the coffee stand. Find a server containing the network logs. Since I have a record of each and every one of your hacks, We'll just search for the timestamp on those and turn that data into something harmless. Easy as that. <laughs> Here we are. Beautiful. I'll update your communicator one more time. A little program I cooked up just for this purpose. There we go. I think that worked. Try it out.
The dawn of the deadly 18th century. Rogues and sailors band together to live their lives by the sword. With no laws or morals, no gods and no fear. Only betrayal, mutiny, cruelty, and debauchery. There is plunder to be found on golden beaches. Will you risk life and soul to fight the pirates of nightmares? Benjamin Hornigold, Calico Jack, Charles Bain, and Blackbeard? pushed all doubt aside. <sighs> we bless poor Desmond, who gave his life so that you, the children of our labors, would live on to fulfill your purpose in ours, in mine. But now is not the time. My strength is not sufficient to inhabit an organic vessel. There's more work to do, more samples to acquire, more artifacts to find before my will can attain. What's happening? Tell me! Make me whole again, my children, my instruments. Bring me forth to fulfill your purpose. Tell me! No, no, no! Something's wrong! God damn it! Living in that goddamned head of yours! Fuck, 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 fuck! Why did she spare you? Why are you still here? His Majesty's Court contends that the defendants, Mary Reed and Anne Bonney, did piratically, feloniously, and in an hostile manner attack, engage, and take seven certain fishing boats. Secondly, this court contends that the defendants lurked upon the high seas and did set upon, shoot at, and take to certain merchant sloops, thus putting the captains and their crews in corporeal fear of their lives. Edward James Kenway born of motley parentage in Swansea, to an English father and Welsh mother, married at 18 to Miss Caroline Scott, now estranged. She's a beautiful woman, I am told, but not at all well these days. If you touch her, you bastards, I'll... Quite a surprise finding you here rotting in a Jamaican prison. We heard rumors that you had taken up with the pirate Roberts. If you know the observatory's location, tell us now, and you'll be out of here in a flash. Rogers can hold these British hounds at bay, for a time. But this will be your fate if you fail to cooperate. You, Mary Reed and Anne Bonny, are to go from hence to the place from whence you came, and from thence to the place of execution, where you shall be severally hanged by the neck, till you are severally dead, dead, dead! Oh, Ross! May God in his infinite mercy be merciful to each of your souls! We're pregnant! Do you all hear that? What the devil did she say? 
They plead their bellies, my lord. Aye, you can't hang a woman quick with child, can ye? Quiet! Quiet! If what you claim is true, then your executions will be stayed, but only until your terms are up. Then I'll be up the duck the next time you come knocking. Remove them! What's your name? Philip, Ken Moore, Conway. This Walpole, ain't it? Walpole? Where'd you get that? Well, that's the rumor going round. As dirty and daft a pirate as ever sailed these West Indies. Well, whatever his name, gotta make sure he suffers without dying. Orders from the governor. And back to the prisons at sundown. And massage hey. his feet if he's a quiet! Oi! Quiet! Water. Ah! Oi! Stop that! Quiet, you! Good morning, Captain Kenway. I have a gift for you. Do not mistake my purpose here. I have come for Anne and Mary, and you owe me nothing for this. But if you would lend me your aid, I can promise you safe passage from this place. I'll need weapons. You are comfortable with this, I am told. We must hurry. In me sight! Hold a moment! Old man. Hey, come back! Are you furious? 
Guards, the bastard's running. I have a clear shot! Bruna! Help! Yourselves, you dollars! Clear shot on him. Oh, I've got a lovely clear shot. Discovered and brought here. Didn't hear what happened after, though. Guards, my! Best of luck to you, mate. I wish we'd parted as friends.
Shut your bleeding trap, or I'll fill it my own way. Sassanak! Bastards! Murderers! Grown men the bleed! You end this day! <laughs> Mary, it's me, Edward. Edward? Who's this fella? It's all right, Anne. He's a friend. What's wrong with Mary? She's ill. And her child? They took her. No idea where. Oh! 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 I know it pains, my lady, but we must be silent. Can you walk? Oh! Oh! Lean on me, Mary. Come on. Uh, I can't. Search every cell. Come on, that's it. Uh, You're all right. Stop. Stop, please. I ain't leaving you, damn it. Oh. Lift your arm. It's no good. There's no oh. one here! I ain't leaving you nowhere. No bloody way. Put me down, Edward. Don't die on my account. Go. This is such a pain in the ass. Damn it. You should have been the one to outlast me. I've done my part. Will you? If you came with me, I could. Mary. I'll be with you, can we? You're not losing us! Faster! to Mary. What's wrong? Is she gone? Oh, no. Oh, God! Oh. Uh. 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 What will you do now? Nothing sensible.
You haven't earned this, but... They suit you. Good fortune to you, Edward Kenway. See some color first. Will this do? In all your years out here, you could never achieve what I've done in one fifth the time. Because you're a good man, Edward, see? Goodness is your disease. That's my prize, Roberts. I'll give it here! Remember my creed, boy. A short life and a merry one, that is all. The world owes us nothing more than this. So take what you will, and then die before you live to see yourself made a fool. Give it here. That's right, boy, take it. I'll sweeten you, maggot. I'll cut you down! Oh. Oh. Calm, little puppy, and slink back to your kennel. You haven't the metal for my brand of madness. Robert! Welcome aboard, Kenway. It's prizes, plunder, and adventure ahead. Are you game? Out of my way, Ben. Raise a glass to freedom, lads. Here's to gentlemen of fortune and women of leisure. To a world full of rogues better than all the kings and queens that kick us about. As gentlemen of fortune, we enjoy plenty and satisfaction, pleasure and ease, liberty and power. What man with a sensible mind would choose the former life? For I have dipped my hands in muddied waters, and, withdrawing them, find it better to be a commander than a common man! Down on powerful wings to seize a grazing lamb. Flying close by, a jackdaw saw the deed, and it filled his head with the idea that he too was just as strong and capable. So, with a great flapping and rustling of feathers, the jackdaw came down swiftly and clutched at the coat of a large ram. But when he tried to fly away, the trap could not lift the animal for his size and strength were not up to the task. The land of Jackdaw struggled, the ram hardly noticed he was there. Nearby, just across the field, the shepherd saw the fluttering bird. No more than two years! You promised me! You left! When I needed you the most! But you had me! What keeps you wondering? Do I not make you happy? I'm so close, Caroline! Please! Just let me do this! Is everything you do our spy, Edward? It's not spite that's driving me, Mary! It's courage! Courage for what, man? There's no one left in your life to care! God damn you all! I can handle this! You lout! 
always tearing down when you could be building things up or building yourself up if nothing else. Just leave me be! Change course, Edward! Change your bloody course before it's too late! Captain Kenway! You look like a ball of plumbed off. Christ! Oh, I've got a head for ten. On your feet! You put me on the spot, Addy. After leaving me with Robert, I shall have hard feelings about seeing you here. But mostly I'm bloody glad. <laughs> me too, brother. And you'll be chuffed to know your jackdaw is still in one piece. So we set sail. You're leaving. Aye, Edward. But I have another calling elsewhere. Ade, listen. When your heart and your head are ready, visit the assassins. I think you'll understand then. Jesus, Addy, what the hell happened here? You happened here, Edward. The damage you caused six years ago has not been undone. I'm not an easy man to call a friend, am I? Is that why you're here? To fight beside a man so driven by personal gain and glory is a hard thing, Edward. And I have come to feel the assassins and their creed a more honorable cause. Have I been unfair? No. For years I've been rushing around taking whatever I fancied, not giving a tinker's curse for those I hurt. And yet here I am, with riches and a reputation, feeling no wiser than when I left home. Yet when I turn around, look at the course I've run. There's not a man or woman that I love left standing beside me. There is time to make amends, Captain. Mary. Before she died, she asked me to do good by her. To sort out the mess I made. Can you help me? Mary was fond of you, Edward. She saw something in your bearing that gave her hope you might one day fight with us. 
Aye. She told me. And what do you think of our creed? It's hard to say. For if nothing is true, then why believe anything? And if everything is permitted, why not chase every desire? Why indeed? It might be that this idea is only the beginning of wisdom, not its final form. That's quite a step up from the Edor I met here many years ago. So what do you think? It'll take some getting used to. The second attack this month, I should have moved this village long ago. I brought all this upon you years ago, but I will stand by you now. It will take more than a few favors to call yourself a true assassin, Edward. One thing at a time, mate. On their attack once more. Come.
estos. Venga, Yanumuk Awoyetel Apishan. And once more you have our thanks, Edward. You are welcome here. Thank you, sir. I'll rest here for a time before setting out, if I may. How's her child? She is a strong woman, but not invincible. I'm sorry for your loss. If I'd stayed in prison, they'd have taken him from me. He'd never be alive. Maybe this is God's way of saying I'm not fit to be a mother yet. Carrying on like I do. Cursing, drinking, and fighting. You are a fighter, I. In prison. I heard stories of the infamous Anne Bonny and Mary Reed taking on the King's Navy together. Just a pair of you. It's all true. Anne would have won that day if Jack and his lads were passed out in the hold from drink. It's right. Everyone's gone, aren't they? Mary, Raccoon, Touch. All the rest. I miss them so. Rough as they were. Do you feel that too? All empty inside. I do. That will curse me. I know my targets by sight well enough, but how will I find them? We have spies and informants in every city. Visit our viewers and the assassins there will guide you. That fixes Torres and Rogers. But Bartholomew Roberts won't be near any city. It might take months to find him. Or years. But you're a man of talent and quality, Captain Kenway. I believe you will find him. And if you're at a loss, do not be afraid to call on your quartermaster for aid. Quartermaster! That's our present course. 
Due west, Captain, if it's still Kingston we're sailing for. It is indeed, Miss Bonnet. Call it out. Way anchor and let fall the courses, lads. We're sailing for Jamaica. How does it feel to bark so loud? I've barked louder, and to men twice as rough. Tending bar at the old Avery, you mean? Among other places. And I sailed with Mary in Rackham for a time, remember? Of course. Mary did most of the captaining, Jack did most of the drinking. Did Mary... Did she ever tell you who it was that fathered her child? It was a young fella. Sailed with us on that last voyage. Poor lad was killed fighting beside us. The only man not too drunk to stand up for himself. There was so much about her I didn't know. I called her a friend. But was I one in return? She thought the world of you, Edward. Have no worries about that. Well, that's good to hear. Have it! Something in the water here! How might I find your favor today? Business well concluded. Care to lose the lawman, friend? If you really want to rough, we can hop away up. Go for me, get me there, frogs off. Get him. Grazie. My thanks. I'm your man now, Capitano. Captain Kenway. You have something for me? The present whereabouts of the Templar Woods Rogers. He is attending a small political function, so do it clean. The word is King George is calling Rogers back to London. Aye, not happy with his progress in Nassau. Still too many pirates roaming about from what I hear. <laughs> You'll need a disguise to fool the powderheads at this party. I suggest the visiting diplomat, Ruggiero Ferraro. He's been on our list for some time. Understood. Will you send this to England for me? Aye. The ship leaves tomorrow. Caroline Scott Kenway, Hawkins Lane, Bristol. You 
are all idiots. How do English believe you can subdue the world is beyond... Salve. Forgive the lateness of my arrival. I am Ruggerio Ferraro. Aye, Mr. Ferraro. Not a problem. Ladies and gentlemen, a toast to my brief tenure as Governor of the Bahamas. For under my watch, no less than 300 avowed pirates took the King's pardon and swore fealty to the crown. And yet, for all my successes, His Majesty has seen fit to sack me and call me home to England. Brilliant! God bless the fucker! Therefore, hooray! Hooray for the ignoble and ignorant prigs who rule the world with sticks up their asses! Hooray! Mrs. Rogers these days? I haven't the faintest idea, and I don't intend to inquire any further. We separated almost five years ago, and both our lives have been the better for it. Forgive my curiosity, Governor. Perhaps I'll be more candid later, when the remainder of my reason has left. He was a privateer once. How is it you lack so much respect for sailors only trying to make their way in this world? You couldn't possibly understand my motives, cretin! You have spent a whole lifetime dismantling everything that makes our civilization shine. But I do understand. I've seen the observatory, and I know its power. You'd use that device to spy and blackmail and sabotage. Yes. And yet all for a greater purpose. To ensure justice. To snuff out lies and to seek truth. There's no man on earth who needs that power. Yet you suffer the outlaw Roberts to use it. No. I'm taking it back. And if you tell me where he is, I'll stop the man. Here, at the edge of a blade, I find a friend in you at last. Principe, you mad bastard. Our best sources say Principe.
It's done. Where now? Grab your kit and pack well. We're sailing for Africa. Here's one still kicking! Who did this? It were a large vessel. The Royal Fortune. Roberts. Offered no quarter. Didn't say nothing.
Why, who chases me now, eh? Is it a spectre come to spook me? Ah, or the gaunt remains of a man I sent to hell? It's a deathly business. Patchy me lay by. Not like of yore, but a scrap of parchment warrant. Not the number until your heart is Wasn't seat. he one of Bowen's? Beats 
working behind the bar, don't it? Attention you paid me. May the best of we two sing praises of the second. And a short one, as promised. How well I know myself. And what of you, Edward? Have you found the peace you seek? I'm not aiming so high as that. But what's peace but a confusion between two wars? Oh, oh you're a stoic then. But perhaps I was wrong about you. She might have had some use for you after all. She? Of whom do you speak? Oh, she who lies in wait. Entombed. I had hoped to find her, to see her again. To open the door of the temple and hear her speak my name once more. I... Talk sense, man. Oh, I was born too soon. Like so many others before. Where's the device, Robert? Ah... Uh, uh, uh. Uh, destroy this body, Edward. The Templars. If they take me. Captain Kenway! I'm assuming this is the friendliest face you've seen since dropping anchor? Is Havana under curfew on my account? Mm, aye. Torres seems to think someone's coming after him. He's not wrong. A monkey-looking thing? Is that what I think it is? Aye. Watch. Through the blood of the governor, we can see through his eyes. That's... That's by the church. Keep this safe. Just in case. 
I'll be at the bureau. Good luck. Un asunto pendiente con el tiburón en el castillo. El señor Torres querrá hablar con nosotros personalmente. ¿El propio Torres? Menudo honor. No te alteres, amigo. Esto no es una reunión de sociedad. Seguidnos. Señor, disculpe, pero ¿por qué tenemos que entrar ahí? Ya han enviado a la mayoría de la flota. ¿Estás cuestionando una orden directa, soldado? No, señor, pero es que... Bien. ¡Atención! Calla. Un rumor acaba con la confianza más rápido que una bala. Ni menciones a los asesinos. He oído historias sobre ellos. Espero que te equivoques. Ahí, vosotros dos. Cerrad esas bocas antes de que os las tenga que cerrar yo. Señor, sí, señor. Vosotros, seguidnos. Y esta vez no vayáis a meter la parte.
momento. You're done, Torres. Christ. This again, eh? How about a little gun? Sigue por aquí. ¡Será fácil! You could speak, mate. It would gladden me to hear your side. You humbled me once. And I took that hard lesson, and I bettered myself. Die, knowing that for all of our conflict, you helped make a soldier out of a scoundrel. Leave this life for a lasting peace. Down among the dead.
got word Taurus left the city. Who were you chasing? That vial was labelled Taurus, but held the blood of his second. Where's he gone? Left port this morning, heading west along the coast. The observatory. Will we follow? Send word to Atabai. We've cornered our man. Doing looking for the observatory when you're holding the treasure yourself. Torres doesn't know I have it. So why bring it to him and risk its capture? I'd like him to know I have it just before he dies. Every last scrap of duck on the wind! Aye, the Armada. 
That's Torres and his men. And you're going to do what, exactly? Find our way past them. Who's this Taurus? And what's your mind on to earn a death sentence? He's a Templar. Like Rogers and Hornigold. Men cooking up schemes to use the observatory for ill purposes. For power and control. The violence he'd cause with this thing would be subtle but heavy. Deadly, yet leaving no mark. Does that make sense? Like, if there was a drought and people was thirsty, and one man had a large cask of water but gave a sip to none. He'd be a killer with no blood in his hands. Aye, like that. Fair enough. I'm so 
soldiers in the mountain. Maybe they've gone? No, they're here. Deep in the jungle. For miles. They brought every ounce of menace they had. Alto! Tú, detente.
all so strange. What is it? Later, I'll. I'll tell you all when this is finished. And watch here, and let none follow. Picture that doesn't fight sight. Despiernas! Despiernas! Venga, muévete! No puedo! Despiernas! No responde!
ourselves and brought these miserable empires to their knees. There is so much potential in you. So much you have not yet accomplished. I could show you things. Mysteries beyond anything that you could imagine. Captain Kenway, ever a splinter in my side. Does this murder fulfill you? I'm only seeing a job done, Torres. As you'd have done with me. As we have done, I think. You have no family anymore, no friends, no future. Your losses are far greater than ours. That may be. But killing you rights a far greater wrong than ever I did. You honestly believe that? You would see all of mankind corralled into a neatly furnished prison, safe and sober, yet dulled beyond reason and sapped of all spirit. So I, with everything I've seen and learned in these last years, I do believe it. You wear your convictions well. They suit you. Torres awakened something fierce. Are we safe? With the device returned, I believe so. What do you call this place? Captain Kenway's Folly! It's a wall to sue to kill her. Can't win it. We will seal this place and discard the key. Until another sage appears, this door will remain locked. There were vials when I came here last. Filled with the blood of ancient men, Robert said, but... They're gone now. Then it's up to us to recover them, before the Templars catch wind of this. You could join us in that cause. I will, but... Only after I fix what I mangled back home. It arrived last week. Beloved Juno, and for a brief moment, I thought she might occupy this tender body of yours. But something went wrong, and now she's back out there, adrift. Oh, she was magnificent once, one of a race of beautiful, wonderful creatures. They created your kind. Did you know that? Your people were tools to them. That's all you have ever been. That's all you should ever be. One day soon, I hope. For the world is nearly ready for her return. Wired. Prepared for a second coming. Uh-oh. Here they come. Those Templars. Or maybe assassins this time. Idiots. All of them. I envy you. 
It was her wish that I be here to greet her. It was her experiment that made it possible for my rebirth as one of these things. Ah! Stay down! Get down on your back! Now! He's got a gun! Guide me into the grave, beloved! I am your instrument! Put the gun down! Drop it! Drop your weapon! Clear! Clear! Check his vitals. He's bleeding fast. Check the victim. Are you okay? Can you hear me? Hello? Talk to me. You all right? Well, there you are. Thank God. I hope you feel well. You look good. Can you stand? Good. Try walking around. A doctor came by, said there wasn't anything to worry about. That the liquid in the syringe was far, far below a lethal dose. I feel terrible about all this. About everything. All our evidence pointed to you, but it was John all along. God, the things we found on his computer... Whatever you need, we'll provide. You've done an amazing job. Speaking of which, our trailer is finished. Would you like to see it? I owe you that much. There we go. I uploaded it to your database. You can watch it here or at your Animus. I think you'll love it. It really captures the, the essence of the era. So, take care. And again, Thank you. A world where pirates rule the waves. These men will discover that nothing is sacred and everyone is committed to rum, plunder, and women. Hola, ladies. This summer, Abstergo Entertainment invites you aboard for the adventure of a lifetime. So sharpen your cutlasses, shine your hooks, and sail with the Devils of the Caribbean. This virtual experience is not being rated. Gentlemen, how do you find it here? It will work for us. But our goal must be to scatter our operations. To live and work among the people we protect, just as Altairi Ben Lahad once counseled. Well, until that time, it's yours as you see fit. Edward, Captain Woods Rogers survived his wounds. He has since returned to England, shamed and in great debt, but no less a threat. I will finish that job when I return. 
You have my word. Evening, Anne. Edward? I'll be sailing for London in the next few months. I'd be a hopeful man if you were beside me. <laughs> England's the wrong way around the globe for an Irish woman. Will you stay with the assassins? No, I haven't got that kind of conviction in my heart. You? In time, I. And my mind is settled and my blood is cooled. Sail ho! Coming into the cove! <laughs> You're a good man, Edward. And if you learn to keep settled in one place for more than a week, you'll make a fine father too. Did you always know how to sail a boat? The Jackdaw is a ship, Jenny. Not a boat. But did you always know? No. No, I learned after leaving Bristol. After you left Mother? Well, I didn't leave your... I didn't leave without saying goodbye, that is. It was an arrangement, you see, between your mother and me. She said you left her. She said you always talked about sailing a boat and making money in the new world. I did always want to sail a ship. That's true. But not for a lot. To support us. To take care of her. And you. Not me. Mother said you didn't know about me. She said you worked only once a year and that she never knew where to find you. That's all true and I'm sorry for that. If I'd known earlier, I might have come home. I hope that I would have. Well, you were busy. That's what I think. I was, but... that wouldn't have mattered. Can I steal your boat? 
Boat! I see no boat here. Do you? Oh, I mean ship, obviously. I don't see the difference anyway. Ah, it's a very simple one, Jenny. A ship can carry a boat, but a boat cannot carry a ship. Why then, everything is a ship. Large and small. But for my toy boats, the one I take into the bath with me. <laughs> That's a clever way of seeing it. Is it hard to talk about Caroline, Jenny? About your mother? Hmm... No. She passed some years ago. I miss her, but it's all right. Was she in pain? I don't know. I don't think so. She was very happy for quite some time. Then, not so happy. I didn't see her much after that. Then, she was gone. I... I'm sorry. I'm sorry I wasn't there for you. It's all right. You're here now. And we're on an adventure. Uh, only a little one, I hope. I can't handle too many more surprises. Do you think we'll see a whale? Yes, there's a very good chance. And what about pirates? Will I see pirates? No. Not much chance of that, I think. Oh, that's rather sad. I should have liked to have seen one. Tell you what, Jenny. As soon as these winds die a little, I'll let you steer the jackdaw. One little trick at the helm before sundown. Yay! <laughs> Miss Jennifer Kenway, may I introduce myself? Jennifer Scott, if you please. I'm sorry, I... I... Uh... My daughter was raised by her mother, Caroline, until she passed away some years ago. Jenny prefers to use her surname to mine. Ah, please forgive my ignorance. I will. She may not. Father, help me. This little rascal, however, is a Kenway. What's wrong, Haven? I can't see the stage. Up we go. How's that? Fine. But won't your arms tire? Hey, I'm not so old as that. But if they do, then we shall quit this posh gig and go and meet your mother for some chocolate at White's. How's that sound? Yes, please. Okay, hush now. <laughs> 